The huge man is real. He is real. He is out there. He is alive and he is coming for us. He is. Yeah, a fun challenge from a mod uh, is on Cataclysm, and I thought it would be a cool stream because I rarely do challenge runs on Cataclysm. Whenever I've done it, it's usually been, it's not really been an end game goal. Uh, there is a, there is a horrible creature after us. It's a gigantic man and he is, think about it like this. Okay, you know, Mr. X, <laughs> you know, Mr. X from Resident Evil? The horrible man, that huge man. Think about this, but he's not a scripted event. He's just always after you. He is a it follows creature that will fucking truck across the country to punch you in the nose so hard you die. That's where we're at. So I've added many mods to the game. I've removed some things or uh, added some mods that make parts of the game easier to counteract the fact that I am not a insane professional Cataclysm player and I'd rather this not take my whole lifetime. I'd like to feel like I have a chance. So I added a mod that removes a little bit of the uh, speed at which you get weary in Cataclysm because holy shit, otherwise if we get punched once, Instead of it being like a protagonist situation where our character goes, Ow, that sucked, but I'm just gonna get out of here. Instead, when you get punched once with weariness at full power, uh, your character just goes, Ow! Ow, fuck! Oh, I just pissed and shit myself when that guy hit me, and now I think I'm just gonna cry for the next, like... I'm just gonna keep crying, I don't know how to attack anymore, and I'm crying, and I'm slow, and I'm sad, and then, like, by that time, like, 18 more punches have landed. So I've added a mod that reduces the rate at which re weariness uh, re like goes down. So people are wondering if my game seems easier. It is specifically that I edited weariness because I think it's a little, a little, it's pretty much my least favorite part about Cataclysm. I think a lot of people were asking if I was playing Bright Nights or normal. I'm playing normal Cataclysm. I'm not playing Bright Nights because there's a bunch of mods that I want to use for normal Cataclysm that just aren't Bright Knights. And honestly, I'm okay with a lot of the shit I used to complain about with base Cataclysm at this point. My only real issue is the weariness. I don't, and that's the thing that's been in Cataclysm for a while. Uh, so I've dialed it back a little. We've dialed it back. It now takes eight times as long for weariness to build up. For people that don't know what weariness is, it's basically the rate at which your character says, I'm done doing this today, I don't feel like it. And uh, pretty much everything lowers it, and when that happens, you have to be like, okay, well, I'm going home. But when we're playing a character that can't go home because he's being hunted, uh, it's your exhaustion meter, yeah, it's your... There's your stamina meter, and then there's your weariness, exhaustion. This is what, this is my whole day and what I'm willing to do today. But weariness can be brought down by it simply raining. If you get wet, your character can just be like, I fucking just don't, I just don't wanna know. Today's a bad day for this. I don't feel like it. I've also, in order to make this more interesting because uh, there's mods that make it a little bit more reliable and uh, I've basically had a bunch of mods I've added I'm not gonna show my whole mod list because it's very it's kind of on the razor's edge of crashing on launch but I haven't had any problems since I uh, set up the world or tested it for like a 16 hour character which is what I was doing the last couple days um, I added a mod or two that basically make Magiclism, which is like the really good magic mod, and a bunch of expansions to it that basically make Magiclism uh, like a mainstay thing in every house. As in, everyone has a little bit of magic in their house. It's like a, we got a little bit of a ma magic and technology are neck and neck in this version of the world. 
and when you walk into a house, you'll see a, you might just like run like it's not as rare to open a fucking box and be like, oh my god, there's actually a magic scroll here. It's like, no, nah, that's like a fucking Tuesday. There's always a magic scroll. So like, we're gonna be pretty magic reliant in this game. I'm not saying it'll be my build, but I'm saying magic is everywhere. It's it's in our hearts. Walmart sells magic scrolls in this world. They literally do. In this world, they literally do, though. So weariness is just a pseudo mental state slash depression meter. That's where you're wrong. You see, there's a stamina meter, there's a happiness meter, and then there is a weariness meter. Stamina meter goes down, you can't do anything anymore. That's your short range stamina. Happiness meter goes down. You don't want to learn as much. You're kind of sad. You, certain things make you sad, and that makes you overall worse in every way. And then there's weariness, which is just like a second. As far as I've interpreted it, as long as I've been playing, it's like sort of like a focus meter. It's like a focus. Like once this gets to the bottom, you are just objectively not paying attention anymore and you're slower and like dragging your feet. It's kind of like a mix of both. It's like your mental fatigue rather than like flat out happiness, etc. It's your mental fatigue. It makes you slower. But uh, we're lowering that a little bit because, I, and here's the thing. I did confirm this mod worked to this challenge. Huge man is flat out faster than me in a straightaway sprint. Uh, however, because I don't use, uh, I don't use the setting the, that is still to this day, people can tell me all they want that it works. Uh, I fucking loathe it. I hate the setting that lets uh, enemies wander up and down Z levels. I think it's fucking awful. I think it never works properly and all that really it does for you is get you tripped. Uh, I think some stuff does, I think in this version of the game, it isn't even like a setting. I think it is just like kind of built in. And it's worked for the most part, but the Z levels, the creature has never been willing to go down Z levels. So I think the thing with Huge Man is that he will not, he's so big that in RP, he's too massive to go up and downstairs. Yeah, we don't use, we don't use wander spawns. Don't even ask, dude. I, I did wander spawns in my test character actually, because people are always like, wander spawns is fucking awesome, dude. I love it when zombies swarm my base 24 seven. But I let I went I left my base, and a wander spawn spawned a horde inside of my house, and then I knew I was never going to use wander spawn again, uh, because wander spawn basically sets it so zombies can be like, hey, like a normal zombie concept, we hear noises, we go towards them in massive fucking swarms, but it just it truly spawned creatures in my perfectly impenetrable base and I was like I I just can't oh there is actually something I need to remove uh, from this character's map I'm doing some like light setup while we uh, while we talk uh, that is a mod I love I really like it it's called uh, sweet cataclysm it makes like candy and stuff rot away and when it rots they turn into living horrible insect creatures but every single mre in cataclysm right now contains chewing gum and it means if you kill if you go to a military base and you gun down a bunch of military zombies and they all have mres on them every single one of them spawns eight gum spiders that then just spit webs everywhere and ruin your base which happened to me because my base was a helipad and I killed all of the zombies in it, like truly a hundred of them. And when I woke up the next morning, my base was all gum. And it's an infinite cycle because if you butcher the gum spiders for food, they naturally aren't made of meat. They're made out of gum. So one gum spider is created from one chewing gum. Okay. One butchered gum spider creates 18,000 chewing gum. Which was when I closed the game, I alt F4'd when I saw it and I was like, I cannot, 
I can't let this exist in my world. Infinite food. Okay, chat, here's the thing. When I saw it, it wasn't actually 18,000. It was more like 1,800. I think it was 1,800, actually. It wasn't 18,000. It was 1,800, which is still 1,800 more spiders. Uh, so still, still quite plenty uh, to break the game. So it, when I saw it, the first thing I did was, all right, check, how do I eat chewing? Can you eat chewing gum? I never use, I never use chewing gum in Cataclysm. So I like, I opened it up and I was checking. Chewing gum doesn't actually take any calories, so it doesn't fill up your stomach. So I was like, I'll just eat 800. I'll just get half of it cleared out in one go. One sitting, I'll just eat 800 pieces of gum because all it does is make me happier. That's the only thing it said would happen. And then my character started throwing up and pissing himself because uh, all the gum is stimulants and he OD'd on chewing gum. I had OD'd myself on chewing gum. I was fine, I walked it off, but I thought it was funny. I, I basically OD'd on like chewing gum. I was overstimulated and my character was like groggy and felt like shit for the rest of the day. Like what happens when you eat too much sugar. That mod sounds amazing though. It is very fun. There's a, there's a pretty fun um, scenario where you basically play as a sugar creature that is made out of sugar and zombies don't care about you because you don't have flesh, you're you're made out of sugar. But like animals look at you and they're like, mm, what are you? And like, instead of it being zombies coming after you, it's like the local deer is trying to rip you in half, which is a pretty fun like twist. Like you see a pile of ants and you're like, oh fucking God, oh no. I've thought about doing that, but it's a little, I don't know, and anyone that even has any base understanding of Cataclysm modding is welcome to attempt it for me and I will happily uh, play it if it were to be made, is I don't know how to make a version of that mod scenario where truly every living animal wants to kill me. It's basically, I wanna turn off zombies and I wanna make it like the rabbit down the street that I just saw is a vicious creature that will try to kill me uh, because I'm made out of sugar. I am food. Oh yeah, and if it rains, your character melts. If you get wet, your character starts dying faster than lava. But uh, yeah, I do need to disable it for this challenge because um, it will backfire in my face. Cannot be on this map. I'm gonna name this world Shithole County 3. Right on. Because I already have Shithole County 1 and Shithole County 2 is the testing level. That's where I live! There was actually another really cool mod that came in like the big GitHub pile that I downloaded. And it was called Massachusetts. And all it does is try to make a realistic recreation of just Massachusetts. As in all of the towns are just towns from Massachusetts. But for some reason, with all the mods I have on, it changes the world gen to be pretty much just awful garbage everywhere and there are no towns or cities. So I ended up not doing it. Plus it doesn't let you use other scenarios when you do it. So I was like sad. I think it tries to make it to scale, which is the problem because if you actually think about Cataclysm scale, Cataclysm scale isn't exactly accurate to like real life travel time. It's just not. Um, it kind of makes Massach the Massachusetts one is like truly like, oh, you have to drive for 15 minutes in game and it takes like an hour and then you get to the next like big city. But like, it just means like truly you'll never find a real city. But uh, we did not enable that because we can't use the, the challenge with it. Where do you even find more CDDA mods? Rather than link my mod pack this time, because it's frankly a disgusting pile of uncurated garbage, 
Uh, I might just link. Yeah, I think I'm using uh, Kenan's mod pack. Yeah, exactly. I'm using that one because uh, it just it's just a big pile of like mostly up to date mods, and I'm using like a random uh, experimental build from the launcher that was like the one that gave me the least errors with the things I'm using. Any cool highlight mods in it? Well, I mean, there's a lot of cool mods for me because I'm i down to play the game with ASCII. Sometimes I've literally played this game in ASCII. So I, there are some cool mods where we are just going to see a big at walk around the corner or like a big V uh, because I like those. And I think Theater of the Mind, even with tile sets on, still works for me. Uh, there's not many of those, but sometimes there will be a huge V or like a menacing A because that's that's just I'm I can play the game in ASCII and I quite enjoy sometimes sometimes it doesn't need to be a scary graphic all right I'm playing with uh the soon to be I believe like over time it'll end up not being what I use for Cataclysm but I'm still using undead people's uh tile set just because it works with the most mods just because it has the most mod support uh but I mean I, I definitely, you don't need to have a scary graphic for me to be spooked by a creature when um, it has a terrifying description. Sometimes the description is all I need to be like, oh, uh oh, oh no, this is the worst. Yeah, eventually Altica will definitely be the main tile set I use, but I'm waiting for when I look it up and it says it ha is supporting like even the most basic of mods that I consider to be automatic package with Cataclysm mods. Like, I can't play Cataclysm without some mods in my game. I just can't. I need them in there. My brain doesn't like playing it without Sekronom. I'm a fucking freak. I'm a freak, and I don't play Cataclysm without Sekronom enabled because I like the horrible creatures that Sekronom adds. And until they support Sekronom graphics and add them, I need, I, I have to play one that supports it. A freak who wants to die to spider zombies. <laughs> Dude, all right, here's the thing. Sekronom slaps. I think Sekronom's the best mod for Cataclysm because it is just straight up the escalation of body horror freaky shit that I think is the best part of Cataclysm is all the scary, awful shit. So it just adds more of that crap and that is like exactly what I want in a mod. It's my favorite mod, hands down. I just noticed the slug that's actually haunting. You know, you can't tell if that's just a slug in the clouds or if that is truly a slug that is double the height of the tallest buildings in the city, looming over the horizon as some kind of strange eldritch horror. Just barely poking through the clouds. Always judging. Is the slug part of Sekronom? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. There is some horrible stuff. There's actually been a lot of updates to the game since the last time I played it, like, in World Gen and in, like, the maps. Like, they... There's a lot of good stuff. I know I'm playing it with mods, but, like, Cataclysm on its own as a base game has a lot of new content. Will I see it? Probably not. If the huge man reaches my character's body one time, I will break in half. Rest assured, chat, this is, we are fighting a juggernaut. This is a, we are fighting what is the hugest, scariest of zombies. Uh, and they will never stop following me. They know where I am and they heal faster than guns can kill it. So, um, we're fight. we're basically, there's a Mr. X after us that can't be killed. Uh... 
He doesn't spawn immediately on you, but he will eventually find you. So, rest assured, I will be taking advantage of every mechanical thing that this game has that is even slightly cheesy. The only thing I won't do, okay, which is pretty common currently in the game, there's a lot of big holes, like sinkholes and like craters that go like two, three Z levels down that you can use to like lure zombies into them to clear them out of a map without having to kill them. I will try my hardest to not dump huge man into a giant hole and call it a day. I'm not sure what happens if he gets stuck in one because I think he can just teleport. I think there's like some mechanical thing where he might just be able to teleport out. But there are some huge holes. There's some huge holes around. He gets out, I've tried it. Cool. I mean, he's huge. I'd assume he can get out. Plus, I think he has, I, th I think there's like, I think there's stuff to prevent that. We'll see. I don't think it'll happen because I'm not going to try it. Uh, the zombie, the zombies are dumb and they will run into the holes and get themselves fucked over. But they, I don't think they do it if there's not an observer. As in like, if I'm not on the other side of the hole going like, come get me, idiot. Don't look down. Don't look right beneath your feet and walk straight forward. I don't think they'll just like walk up to holes and just flop in. I don't think they're that dumb in this game. I've never seen them do it. I definitely don't need tips. I know people like, I don't know why you're adding me with like, I do not want tips on how to do it, please. I appreciate you telling me that it wouldn't break it with the whole thing, but I do not want you to at me with like, uh, like ideas on how much damage they need or like what, what, like how, how to dispatch him. I don't want to know. Please don't do that. I'm gonna figure it out myself. You'll never do it this stream anyways. That's not the point, <laughs> my guy. That's not the point. Hmm. That's not the point. Don't be cringe. Not the point. Is tomato getting juiced on five hour energy? I was gonna get a fucking cold brew, but there's none left in my fridge. So yes, I'm getting juiced on five hour energy today because it's all I have. I'm getting fucking crazy. I think someone stole my last cold brew is what happened. Cause there was one in there before and now it's gone. Dude, actually no joke though. Last night I made a uh, French style scrambled eggs cause I was curious if they were any better than the normal scrambled eggs I make. Cause I'm, yeah, I'm pretty good at scrambled eggs. Made some French style ones. Bro. That might've ruined scrambled eggs for me. Like normal scrambled eggs, which was fucked up because um, it takes like 20 minutes to fucking make. <laughs> it was it was that good. Yeah, no, I made so I they I I think I made them like perfectly on my first try. It it was that good that I was like holy shit. This might ruin eggs. This might have ruined normal scrambled eggs. And then I got like sad. What's the difference? Okay, so here's the thing. In a normal scrambled egg, you can make it in about 5 minutes. And you just stir it every once in a while. And like, you can choose to make the scrambles large curds or small curds. You can kind of do whatever you want with it and then it's done in five minutes. Bada bing, you eat it. With the French style, you have to get a fucking pot. You have to boil like an inch of water in it. You gotta put another bowl on top of it. You put the scrambled egg, you put the egg in that bowl. The residual heat from the boiling water at like a low temperature. 
is what gets it to, yeah, you sort of double boil it. Uh, you double boil it, yeah. I don't have a double, I, look, I, I, I had to make do with what I had. Uh, but you then let the heat of the boiling water slowly heat up the, the egg while you basically don't ever stop stirring it. And then slowly, uh, it'll make really small curds of egg. And when it's finished cooking, it won't be like a solid mass. It'll be more of like a like custard kind of consistency. It looks visually disgusting. <laughs> it looks fucking disgusting. But it tasted, it was, I basically made egg mashed potatoes. And it tasted really good. It tasted really fucking good is the thing. It was insanely good. It was like the best thing, it, the best thing I've ever made out of just eggs. That sounds annoying and sad to make. There was nothing sad about it, but it was fucking annoying. Because if you like drop the ball for like 30 seconds, it's like ruined. So you just sit there stirring it. But I mean, I had other stuff to do. I have like a fucking iPad. I was watching something while I stirred. I didn't have to do anything else. Like it's not something, it, it's something I'd make if I had like some good fucking toast to put it on. Like that, you put it on something. Like I put it on in, an English muffin and it was fucking awesome. What the hell is this? Sonic Mania, never stop playing Chemical Plant Act 2, please. Shut the fuck up. The Crimson Empire, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you very much. I like the other song. It was just the intro from Sonic Mania, but I didn't ask. Have you ever made Eggs Benedict? Yes, I have made Eggs Benedict once. I thought it was okay, but I honestly didn't like it that much. It's not... I would make, here's the thing chat, I liked the eggs I made last night so much, I would make them again tonight. But the eggs benedict was not so good that I wanted to make it again the next night. Nor may I ever make it again. It just didn't click with me. It wasn't that good. He hates poached eggs. That's not true. I just, it, it didn't really click with me. It wasn't, it wasn't my thing. I think it was just the amount of work. If we're thinking about the same thing. Yeah, we are. I know what, I know what dishes are. Yeah, it was a little too much. I liked it. Here's the thing, I would order it at a restaurant. Like if I was getting breakfast and they had it, I'd be like, yeah, I'll take that. I wouldn't make it again. I don't think anytime soon. That That's kind of where I'm at. It's like a, I need to, there's like a kind of a mix of like, I just don't really feel like that much work. I'm willing to do a lot of one thing that takes a while, but I, I there's a there's a point where it's like too much work for not enough return. You know what I mean? That's kind of my thing. I like waking up and eating just bread. Bro. Word, man. You know what? True. True, man. True. Tomato would hate baking. I don't bake. I don't make any. I don't make cakes. I don't make brownies. I don't make anything. I do not bake. I don't make cookies. I like cooking because I can freestyle it and make something taste better with my own two hands. And by simply tasting it for a second, I can say, this is exactly how I want it now, or this needs this. I don't like baking because if I mess up one thing, it's now poison. I've made poison in my oven and I waited 40 minutes to find out it was poison. Absolutely not. I like it when I cook something and when I'm done cooking it, I eat it within 30 seconds and it's gone. I don't want to have to like leave it in an I don't even like baking it. I don't even like using my oven to cook things.
Cooking is sorcery, baking is wizardry. Yeah. Have you made egg inside toast? No, I haven't. That sounds strange. You're, you're strange. Oh, I have? It's good. I, I mean, I'll try or cook anything once. As long as it's not like dangerous to cook. If someone's like, oh yeah, if you fuck up the uh, egg in the toast, it blows up with boiling egg uh, everywhere. And it will kill you. So no fried turkeys. I fucking hate turkey. Rest assured, okay? I will never, ever, ever make anything. I won't cook a fucking thing with turkey in it. I just won't do it. Turkey sucks. Turkey's overrated. It's overrated. The only good turkey is maybe in like a club sandwich, okay? Any other kind of turkey is an overrated piece of shit that doesn't know it belongs in a sandwich. That's it. That is the only version of turkey. You gotta prime it, my guy. I don't gotta do shit with shit. The worst thing that ever happened at Thanksgiving, and to some extent Christmas, because I guess it's, I guess you could just do turkey for both. I found out according to my family, you can just do turkey for both and have the most boring two fucking dinners of your goddamn life. Um, turkey's ruined those for me because my family fucking loves turkey and they'll have basically turkey every single holiday forever. And I'm looking around at like everyone else making cool things for their like holidays, making like good shit. I'm looking at recipes for way better stuff. And like, it's always turkey over here and I fucking hate it and I loathe turkey and I wish it would die. If I could snap my finger, if I had the choice to either snap my finger and like fucking remove every single mosquito in the world or every turkey just so I don't have to eat them, I'd still get rid of the mosquitoes, but I would think about it for at least like a couple seconds. Okay, I would. I would think I wouldn't immediately pick mosquitoes. Ham instead, ham is, ham I can't eat. I can't eat ham. We've talked about this a thousand times. I don't think ham is bad. It's just, it's my like, it's the food that makes me gag even though I don't think it tastes bad. It for some reason just makes me feel sick. I don't think it's bad. It just makes me, it's like the one of the, everyone gets one or two foods that's like their, oh, this makes me sick even though everyone likes it. And it's ham. Can't eat it. I literally can't eat it. If I put it, if it's even in the same room as me, my whole body like actually starts to like heave. Can't do it. It used to be asparagus too, but recently I, I looped back around on asparagus and now I'm kind of in, I'm kind of in. Asparagus, it came back around, dude. It came back around. It came back around. It was like I made some like, I don't even remember anymore. It was something, it was something good though with asparagus like recently. And the only reason I don't remember is that I ate it so fast because it was so good that I truly didn't even remember the recipe. I think I ate the recipe page. I ate the whole thing. It was wild. Thoughts on avocados. Avocados are objectively good. They're not overrated. They are just very good. I don't, my thoughts on avocados is that their problem is that there's about a 30 second usability uh, window before it is now garbage. And that's the problem with avocados. It has the, it's a, it's a stealthier banana to me as in at least with bananas, it's very obvious when it's time to eat them visually. Avocados don't tell you. There are more, there are, there are more fucking high maintenance banana.
However, I would never bite into an avocado. <laughs> Avocados is something you use to make other things or something you add on other things. If anyone bit into an avocado, I would hate them. I'd hate them. But boy oh boy. Honestly, the biggest disappointment I ever think about with avocados is that some people think they're only good in guacamole. And I'm like, dude, they're one of the they're one of the best support foods ever. You can put that you can put avocado on almost anything, and it's gonna be pretty good. Like almost any sandwich, get an avocado in there. Like those aren't just for guacamole. They're good. Tomato loves avocado pizza. It wouldn't be bad on it. I've never had it, but it wouldn't be bad on it. I don't think. It probably would be fine. I mean, I've never tried it, but it wouldn't be bad. Yeah, how many times you gotta go to pineapple on pizza? Here's my take. I've never had it. I don't personally think I'd like it, but I'm not going to say I would never try it. There it is. That's all I have to say. I've never had it, and I would never buy it. If someone walked up to me with pizza on the house they were like here try my pineapple pizza and see if you like it i'd be like okay but i'm not gonna spend money on something that i actively don't think i'm going to enjoy all right maybe uh, they would change my mind but i'm not about to buy pizza with a topping i don't want all right pizza is important to me i'm not gonna possibly ruin it with something i don't think i'm gonna like i just won't do it Someone would have to offer me a slice of pineapple pizza. Now anchovies, on the other hand, keep those freaks away. You people, you guys are so fucking weak. If you, if you can't handle anchovies, okay, just be quiet. Like, you don't have to, don't out yourself as someone with a weak palate. Okay? Stay quiet. <laughs> Just shut the fuck up. Just be quiet. Shut your mouth. And just never s keep anchovies out of your goddamn mouth. Don't talk about them. They suffered enough. You can't even eat ham. Dude, that's my gag food. <laughs> Listen, if I started dying because I was choking on something else, if you just put a bit of ham underneath my nose, I will immediately hurl. You, it would save my life. In an instant. Everyone gets a couple freebies. So unless every single one of you is about to say that anchovies are one of your two freebies for disgusting gag foods that make you throw up if you go near them, then you gotta give it a chance, okay? Because olives and anchovies are pretty adjacent on the saltiness scale. Anchovies are a little bit more extreme, but I mean, I get olives on my pizza all the time and it slaps. It slaps hard, and sometimes I'll get anchovies, and those slap hard too. The important thing is that you need to balance the toppings. Okay? You gotta balance. You can't be like, you can't, you gotta be careful with what you put in on an anchovy. Like, you can't, you can't have anchovies, and like, a, you gotta be careful. Olives on pizza, what face? Dan's getting- dude, fucking- you guys are idiots.
Olives are great. I uh, like that's one thing I, dude. I won't. I won't let people badmouth olives. Okay. You cannot like salty stuff, but olives truly slap hard. Okay. They're just good. I wouldn't eat a ton of them because they are just pure sodium and you're gonna die. But like, they go great on pizza. They, but the matter of fact, I would say olives belong on pizza. I'll die on that hill. Olives make me think of geese. Did you mean to say grease or geese? Because you missed the at, like, I, I honestly can't fucking tell because the S in geese was replaced with a C. So it makes me think you meant to say grease. That hurt my head. Twas grease I meant. Twas a big fuck up, all right? Cause you made yourself look like a fool in front of all these people. You understand? Look at how much, look at how mad you made the chat. Look at how much respect of mine you just lost. All of it. Look how pissed off you made all these people. <laughs> Look how angry you're making them. So fucking PO'd. Shaking. Fucking mad. Yeah, that's what this simple as that. No D colon. The whole point was it's just a scary sound. All right. Mods, add a note. <laughs> Mods, find that chat member and add a fucking note to them. Add a add a mod comment. Scroll all the way back up. Find them. Find them now that it scrolled all the way away. Go all the way back up. Get them. Protect them. No, don't. They wouldn't protect you. They wouldn't protect you. They wouldn't do anything. I don't know if I have time to keep doing the intro though is the thing chat because this could be a long long stream this could be a long one okay realistically we cannot we can't bumble around too much longer today okay we can't bumble around too much longer. Because the huge man comes. He's on his way. And he doesn't stop for anything. No matter how tired we get, no matter if we need to sleep or anything, the huge man will come. And I'm only partially confident he doesn't know how to go up and down stairs. 
So I'm not exactly comfortable living in a base because I don't know if he can go up and down stairs. He hates steps. I'd have to live in a basement if I was going to live somewhere. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, 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 all right. We might as well get into character creation because we're going to be, it's going to be a pretty, it's going to be a long one. Uh, it's going to be a long stream today. Okay, we know this. We know this. It's going to be, it's going to be a hefty one. There's going to be, it's going to be a lot going on. So I've already made a world. I'm not going to show the whole mod pack today uh, because it's, it would be a whole lot to do that. We're using a new sound pack, which I will say I'm using, called Oto. Hang on, Oto something. Oto pack. The O T O pack, uh, and it's got a bunch of music in it that I like, and to my knowledge is royalty free. It's made by people in the community, so I don't have to worry about the entire VOD getting horribly muted. I hope. <laughs> I assume and I hope. Because uh, when I looked into all of it, they said most of the music was um, provided by members of the Discord. So, but chat. To be fair, uh, in Base Cataclysm, there was a soundtrack file from fucking Ghost in the Shell that was just ambient noise. So, I'll take my chances. I'll take my chances because even white noise can be somehow attributed to a, an anime. So I'll take my chances. We're playing on a map called, I'll display the screen in a second. I'm just gonna get us into the actual character creator cause this is gonna be, it's gonna be a long process making this character cause this is pretty, it's pretty this is a pretty in-depth creature. Uh, we're gonna be playing in a map I've named Shithole County 3. My mod pack actually does spit out a lot of errors, but the thing about Cataclysm is that none of these errors ever mean anything. Somehow Cataclysm is unbelievably stable. Um, no matter how many errors happen, no matter how many times the game says something won't work, somehow it still manages to fall back and work anyways. So, you know. All right, Chet. So if you don't know what Cataclysm is, um, boy, oh boy, you're, you're in for it now. You're in, a, you're in big trouble. You're in a lot of big fucking trouble on this one. You little, you little fool, you, f you buffoon. Because, um, probably coming in on this one is going to be, actually, to be fair, I, I'm pretty good at explaining Cataclysm. Cataclysm is what I believe Zomboid, Project Zomboid, the game you probably do know, if you don't know Cataclysm, you probably know Project Zomboid, uh, was inspired by, uh, to some extent. Uh, instead of being a real-time action, like, everything moving at the same time kind of game, this is a turn-based tile, uh, ASCII game. Um, very similar to Zomboid, but instead of just being zombies, there are horrible creatures. Uh... We're gonna make our character first things first. We're gonna set our scenario to the entire basis for the stream today. Challenge, hunted. It's actually gonna earn us two character points by doing this, which are like the perks for Zomboid. Since the start of the Cataclysm, something has been hunting you relentlessly. You can outrun it. Wrong. <laughs> Fucking wrong, bro. <laughs> Wrong, tested, tested in the fields, tested that in the fields, dude, in a straight run, wrong, dude, wrong, he's faster, dude, I tested, I didn't take any speed perks, though, this time I'm gonna be a little bit faster, oh god, I got something in my eye, this time I'm a little bit faster, it always seems to find you eventually, the only escape is for one of you to die, okay, alright, man, Profession. The, the profession is important, all right? Because we can start with items on some of them. Uh, some of the real standouts for professions is clown, which lets you start with a balloon, a bunch of balloons. Naked guy. 
That's another standout is Naked Man. Lumberjack, that's a cool one. Rude Boy. Your ska band broke up after the drummer became a zombie. Now you're alone in the cataclysm with some cigarettes and your MP3 player. Right on. Scoundrel. Beekeeper. You, you used to be a professional apiarist. Building and maintaining beehives. Very cool. There's truly a hundred thousand million classes. Such as world famous career politician. Whose only skill in the entire game is being a skilled liar. And having a social skill of six, which is objectively worthless in a apocalypse scenario. Much unlike the Wild West gunslinger with a marksmanship skill of four, able to casually gun down all threats in the area. Yeah, there's obviously a lot of these. But, um, if I had to pick one, it would be a wizard of some kind. Or, of course, a, uh, fucking, you know, everyone's, everyone's favorite creature. Everyone's favorite career in Cataclysm. Basic, uh, the Grim Reaper. <laughs> Where you're just, you are, you are just the, the Grim Reaper. Uh, it'll cost all of your points. Your character won't have any skills beyond it. But you'd be the the Grim Reaper forever. Professions, I actually don't usually go with professions because um, starting with a basic character is better because it lets you keep a bunch of points. But um, sometimes professions are cool. I'm probably going to stick with base survivor because of the fact that I want to pick uh, background. I want I want to work with like this stuff. The the professions are all cool. They don't really you're hurting yourself by taking one in a challenge like this. It always feels like uh, to be. I like backpacker. Some of them are cool. Um, I like having a bunch of extra points to pump into traits, to be honest, in Cataclysm. I, I usually end up not really enjoying picking like I'm a I'm a shower guy. I was taking a shower when the apocalypse happened. Ha ha hee hee. I stepped out of a nice hot shower to find the world had ended. I've got some soap along with the most massively useful thing ever, a towel. And the huge man is coming to fucking kill me. It's like Chet. The thing is, shower victim earns me one point, but I start with nothing and no skills. You can also earn one point by playing hobo and if you play with hobo, you get to start with clothes and a knife for the same like debuff for the same gained point. So, <laughs> but my immersion though, it's about the RP. You're right. Sometimes it's about the RP. You're a true American patriot dressed with star spangled clothing from head to toe. The government's fallen, but the nation lives on in its people. God damn right it does. Chills. Chills. Yeah, if I was going to pick one, I would take, uh... I would take probably Hobo, because it earns us another point. Or we play fucking novice martial artist. We earn a point and we gain a second mission on top of beating the fucking guy, which is we must obtain our black belt. Our master was slain by the huge man. Our master in our dojo was completely broken in half by the huge man in his attempt to destroy our training ground. I will defeat him by any means necessary. My revenge arc begins. If only it wasn't for my horrible dependence on heroin and crack 
and meth and over-the-counter ibuprofen and alcohol and basically almost everything else. I have an addictive personality and caffeine is pretty much the only thing that keeps me going. I also can't sleep without sleeping pills. <laughs> that I don't think you can play with that many dependencies. I don't think you can I don't think you can play with that many dependencies. I think that you'd just fall over and die. I don't think you'd be able to work. But there is some stuff here I'd be happy to punch in. Uh for instance, let's let's see what we got for debuffs here that are actually like reasonable. Uh, butchering. You absolutely love meat and dislike eating fruits and vegetables. Your particular tastes have turned you into a decent amateur butcher. No, I don't know, dude. Sometimes there's a diet mechanic in this game, chat. If, if if you eat just meat, you need multivitamins, or you don't you don't get like enough iron in your diet anymore. You can like fall over and die if you don't have like nutrition. You get gout. You get you get the gout, and then you get scurvy. It's a real thing. But multivitamins are everywhere. There's multivitamins everywhere. There's a chance we could live off of just meat and snack on multivitamins. No, I don't like... I don't... I, I like playing a character that only has to worry about the fact that he got shot by another character in the game. I don't really like having to worry about too many horrible things other than obviously everyone's favorite stat in the debuff section, which is, of course, having horrible, debilitating, calyptic psychosis. Lock it in, baby. Is the huge man even real, is the question. Is the huge man even real? What? Calyptic psychosis. Let me explain. You, you guys don't get it. Let me explain. Let me explain. This is calyptic psychosis. Ever since the sky first broke, you felt unwell. Your head split by alien thoughts. You will periodically suffer from delusions ranging from minor effects to full visual hallucination. Some of these effects may be controlled through the use of antipsychotics. Is the huge man even real? Think about it. Back to background. Okay, if we're playing a character that was uh, just starting up as a martial artist, uh, we should probably know a little bit about combat. Maybe we take something in basic martial arts. Four points to learn martial arts, dude. We were a novice. Hang on, let me... We were a novice martial artist. Let me check m novice martial artist. You've decided today is the day to take your first lesson at the local dojo. You'll be great at it. You're sure of it. I didn't learn it yet. All right, all right, all right, all right. That makes this easier. I wanted to learn it. <laughs> I wanted to. I showed up to get my fucking punch degree. I didn't actually take a lesson yet. All right, that's important. So I do not have any training in melee at all. However, I do have training in D&D. As the Game Master, you've guided players' journeys through dungeons and fortresses. Now you're the last member of your party. My only social skill is that I'm slightly good at being social. That's so bad. Okay, alright, alright, let's take stuff that's actually gonna be good. Backyard grilling. Now that's a fucking background with, <laughs> that builds, that put, put some hair on your chest. You've enjoyed inviting the neighborhood to a backyard cookout on the weekends. You, of course, were the grill master. You know what I actually think I want to do before we lock in any of these and, like, decide what we're doing here? I think it's actually important that I go ahead and set my character's negative traits before we do background. 
because I think those actually more decide what we pick for a background here. I think we should do negative traits first because these are the ones that kind of impact what I would pick anyways. Because we have Calyptic Psychosis, <laughs> which, which means we may not be able to survive some of these backgrounds anymore. We have horrible psychosis. We see dancing microwaves in the moonlight. Uh, all right, uh, so what would a character that is being hunted down by a huge man have for negative traits? Uh, I think if the huge man wants to beat him up, I don't think animals would hate him. But I think this guy would have a naturally bad temper. I think let's be fair. I think realistically, if I was being hunted down by a huge man, it would be really hard to stay positive. I think it would be pretty hard to stay par like positive in general. I think he'd be naturally like inclined to kind of uh, pessimism and paranoia. Calyptic psychosis, I think, covers paranoia pretty well. Um, I think he'd be an. I think he'd naturally be. An insomniac. I, I I think being realistic, I would have an insanely hard time ever sleeping for the rest of my life if I knew a huge man was actively trying to hunt me down and kill me. I think realistically, that would be most of my life. Is being scared of the huge man. This has always been an interesting combination for me, and it's Insomniac with Heavy Sleeper, which is when I do pass out, it kind of makes it the thing of I'm sleep deprived, but if it does happen and I pass out, I'm not waking up until my character's done sleeping. Uh, which I think is a fun dynamic of once it happens, it happens, and it's a bad scene. So I think I'm going to take Heavy Sleeper. So I rarely get to sleep, but when I do sleep, uh, I'm done. I'm done for a bit. I'm out of the picture for a while. Okay, so we can take another four negative points. Uh, would I... Hmm, I'd take Strong Scent if I was trying to RP this hard. Because Strong Scent implies that that may be how the huge man finds me is by my stink my horrible stink but i need to play a character that i also believe can survive for more than 30 seconds and if every zombie if he can smell me every zombie in the entire map can smell me and that will, he, it won't even be the huge man that gets me. It will be zombies number five through 20 that just home in on me because they can smell my horrible stink. So I don't think we're going to take that. Uh, let's see here. Inattentive. You never pay attention to your surroundings and specifically to people around you. You can't judge the intent of critters you see. <laughs> Just imagine not be like looking at a like bear and being like, I can't tell if he's like super down to like hang out or if he wants to break my neck. Nomad. Yeah, Nomad does feel like the play. You're too adventurous for your own good. The more time you spend somewhere, the unhappier it makes you to be there. I've never played a Nomad character. But I think it makes sense for this one. I think, I think of any uh, run in this game, the idea of playing a nomad character that focuses on mechanics really early and tries to deck out an RV to live in is probably the best play. That probably makes the most sense. Is that pretty much the only way we win is by getting like a big vehicle and living like that man on the run. Uh, let's see here. We need at least one or two more things here. I would say that Pyromaniac makes sense. And let me explain why. If I always knew the huge man was after me, 
the one thing that may give me any comfort in this world is knowing that I'm burning down the entire fucking horizon so I always know where this guy is. And that maybe the fire slows him down. Scorched Earth. We'll lock it in. And maybe huge man wants to kill me because I'm ugly. <laughs> maybe it's because I'm uh, wait no not pyromaniac. I'm ugly, and I'm a tr and, and I always tell the truth. And I said something fucking mean to huge man. And ever since, he's been running towards me to punch my head off. I called him stupid. I talked shit to huge man. So he went to my martial arts master and killed him. And now he's hunting me down. I still have one more minus one to take. I still have one more. I usually found junk food intolerance is a good one to take, but in a game where I have to be mobile, I may not always have time to cook. So I think in this game, junk food intolerance is something I can't afford to take. Uh, even though it's usually a freebie for me. Hmm, we still have one. I think s you can't even think about putting filthy clothes on yourself, especially from zombie corpses. I usually take this one because I think it's just realistic. I don't think anyone is going to kill a zombie, take off their clothes and immediately put them on when they're covered in horrible rotting meat. I usually just take squeamish because it's my automatic brain going, I'm not wearing this without washing it. It's like a brown color on my screen. I'm not gonna wash it. I'm not gonna wear it anyways. So I think I just take squeamish as the last freebie. Okay, so those are our negatives. We have 23 points to put into stuff. So I think, first of all, let's go through some traits because there's a couple things. If we're evading a huge man, okay. We might need to, we might need to be a little, we might need to pick some stuff that's pretty careful here if we know that the game is a game of cat and mouse constantly being chased by a creature. Um, we might have to be a little bit fast on our feet, is what I'm thinking. I think we truly need fleet-footed. I think we need fleet-footed. You can move more quickly than most, resulting in a 15% speed bonus on shore footing. We need fleet-footed. We need parkour. Which I don't even see here anymore. Did they move it? Oh no. Is that a background now? That's like, that parkour is like the best thing in the game. Because it lets you jump over a... It lets you jump over stuff that other people get slowed down on, which is like the best way to get away from huge man. But my character would not be a parkour master. He would be a fucking loser. So we can't take parkour. We'll have to take our, we'll have to take our bonuses elsewhere. Sweet tooth, substance tolerance, stylish, strong stomach. I think strong back. I think we take strong back. I think if our character's gonna be having to travel a lot, he's gonna be a lot stronger than most for actual traveling on his feet. I think he's gonna have, I think he's gonna be good at walking and carrying things. Spiritual, robust genetics. I, look, the gamer in me knows that robust genetics is always good, but, but, okay, realistically, 
we are not likely to get to a point where this matters in this challenge. But I will want quick. You get 10% bonus to action points. Just faster. Just faster. You need to be faster. My character's gonna be quick. He's gotta be. If Huge Man is gonna be huge, my character needs to be fast. He has to be. Pretty? God no. Psychopath? God no. Psychopath is a positive trait. In this game it is because mood is really important. And if you're constantly sad, you're worse at things. If you're having a bad day, you're worse at things. Sonic versus Knuckles. Oh god. Pain resistant. Might be good. Pack Mule. 10%'s not a big enough change here, I think, for me to. But it but it might fucking matter! You pack things very effectively. You can retrieve some things from containers 10% faster, is what this one says. It might matter here. When the huge man is knocking on the door. Night vision is absolutely mandatory, I would say. I would say night vision is absolutely mandatory. Less sleep. And obviously Jedi training. Obviously we're gonna need to be- ha we're gonna have to have some Jedi training to defeat the huge man on this one. I feel like it's not a reach. To say that we would need Jedi training. Or like the power to deliver key strikes. You know what I mean? Nah, you know what I'm gonna take? Even if I have to reduce other things, specifically because we're playing a, a game with uh, a lot more magic availability on this mod pack, I have to take mana efficiency or greater mana efficiency. Uh, I think just normal mana efficiency. I think in a I think in a world where magic, because we've added a lot of magic mods on this one. Uh, it's the only- magic is the only way Huge Man could survive as long as he has. It, the only way you could be as powerful and massive as Huge Man is with horrible magic power. Uh, so I think everyone's got a little bit of mana efficiency in this world. Is kind of how I'm looking at it. Uh, so it makes sense. Every- everyone's got a little bit of practice in magic around these parts. He's got the magic of gains. And the base mana pool is so bad, uh, mana efficiency means we'll at least have a little bit of uh, a pool to work with. See, all we need to do after this is find a very specific spell book that I know of that will enable us to be powerful. Okay? And it's not OP because I've seen everything else in this fucking game. It's not OP and I know the name of it. There's one magic book that's amazing. And it gives you the ability to Eldritch Blast, just like a warlock from D&D. &D. And yeah, just like an Eldritch Blast from D&D, &D, it is strong. And cheap. It's the best spell in the game. But I don't want to take greater. I don't want to rely on mana. Which is why I'm not going to take greater. Plus I'd have to drop other stuff. I think everything we took is mandatory on this character. Okay. And we have 11 points still. And we technically have the background to put in if we want. We don't have to pick a background. But we can if we want. Um, I would say. You know what actually makes sense? Um, a sleeping pill dependence on this character. They're an insomniac. They already can't fucking sleep. It would make sense that they're dependent on sleeping pills. And it's going to give us the insomniac trait automatically. Which might actually mean we could take it off of the trait thing here. Okay, yeah, it's forced in. Cool, so that's a, that's a freebie. And uh, it gives us a sleeping pill dependence, which already makes sense. Parkour, my beloved. We can't do this because my character is not cool. Fundamentally, my character is lame and cringe. And he is not going to be a parkour master. He's just not. He'd be into sewing.
You loved learning and sharing interesting facts about many different topics. None of them are useful anymore. But your strong memory certainly is. Riddle me this, huge man. Riddle me this. Oh boy, I don't think that's going to be it either. We could say that we know a little bit about martial arts. We're not going to start with any skills in it. We could say that we know a little. Because we have the spare points for it. Or, with the spare 12 we have right now, we could pump up some melee skills in our stats like fucking crazy, which honestly feels like a better idea. Use your head. Use your head. Use your brain. Activate your brain power. Alright? It's time. Okay, so here's the thing. That I know. Is that this game, the way this game handles its magic is that magic don't fucking miss, motherfucker. It's magic. Which means we don't need to, we don't need as much perception as we would normally need. Because perception equals your aiming ability. It also equals your ability to detect traps. Okay? I don't use speedy decks uh, because I think it breaks the game. Uh, I think speedy decks flat out breaks the game in like any kind of more than four hour game. So I don't use speedy decks. Cause it's insane. I like it in some situations, but it's a little, it's a little much. So we're gonna boost our perception while we'll lower our perception to six. No lower, cause if you bring it to like four, your character will not see a landmine one block in front of him and will blow up and die. So we're gonna leave it at six and bring our intelligence up to 10. Uh, we're going to keep strength at 9. And we're going to bring our dex to 9 as well. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that, that's a good start. That's a good start. Because you see, we have skills we got to pump in. I am going to put 1 into Spellcraft. Everyone knows magic. They don't know a lot, not everyone, but most people know a little. Everyone knows a little magic. So I'm gonna put a little bit in. Just a just a dollop of magic. I'm gonna put a lot into dodge, dude. I'm gonna put a whole lot into dodge. I'm gonna put 10 points. You get to 10 dodge, bro. And we're just gonna let the huge man just try and fucking hit me, dude. I'm I'm wiggly. I'm untouchable, motherfucker. <laughs> we can uh, we can technically bring, bring something to six points, uh, but no, we're gonna we're gonna put our points in the things that are I would say fundamentally required to survive in this game, especially if you're playing a mobile character. Okay, hang on, I gotta I gotta sneeze. I mean, actually, if, I just gotta blow my nose. I'm not sure why at some point blowing my nose and sneezing became the exact same action to me. But yeah, we're going to bring survival up to two. Just so I have the basics. Technically, you can bring up your survival just by rummaging through fucking garbage for a couple minutes. But um, I like to have the basic construction options. I'm going to bring our fabrication up to two as well. Yeah. No, we'll leave it at three. We'll bring fabrication up to three. Next, healthcare, three. And then mechanics, three. I found that if you don't put your mechanics to three, you will fucking hate your life. Fucking hate your life because you'll never find a starting mechanics book. And you will not know how to, like, fucking even partially do anything with a car. I already hate it. Yeah, mechanic training mechanics fucking sucks. I don't want, like, full bars. I don't want it to be filled up, but I think it's important to have a bit. Uh, and then melee weapons. Our character's gonna have to be shit at something, chat. He was going to martial arts training for a reason. I think he has zero melee skill. 
I think he has zero melee skill and he just knows a lot of other random garbage at a basic level. I think that's his, I think that's where he's at. See if I can bring mechanics up one more. I cannot. This is good. And it leaves us with one extra point, which we can put into intelligence. Bring it up to 11. Very good. Very good. A jack of all trades character that cannot sleep and cannot be alive. I'm going to name him... Uh, I'm just gonna name him Evan. That sounds like the name of a guy who gets the shit kicked out of him by a huge man. I'm gonna name him Evan. Just Evan. Evan. Hang on, don't do starting location yet. No, 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 no. I want to add Evan, but sad. Make him look a little sad. Okay. So. I want to quickly. Because sometimes shit can go horribly wrong. I want to take a screenshot of this. So if it. Uh, if when I try to load this character. It like just at flat out crashes the game. We'll have the. Template saved. Because sometimes it doesn't save it when you go, like, back in. So I'm just going to screenshot that. Okay. Because sometimes when you try to, like, load in, something will go wrong. That's just the case. That's just how Cataclysm goes. So, yeah. Man, this guy's a mess. <laughs> He's age 25, 175. Oh, I got to edit his body. Hang on. Eye color. Let's see here. Uh, a, a, a beautiful goatee. A beautiful goatee. Uh, we're gonna have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful red, beautiful red hair. Beautiful short red hair. Make him look like a real fucking weakling. A, a, a real pathetic weakling. I'm gonna give him some short red hair. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Perfect. Tomato POV. <laughs> it's not me, dude. It's not me, dude. Uh, all right. Hang on, there's one thing I want to check. Because I actually didn't know this. Um. Where the hell was it? There was something that let me pick, like, look through my starting locations. We don't need those. We saved it. We saved it. We're, we're good. We don't need to look at the starting locations. It'll be a surprise. All right, chat. We're going in as Evan. We know his deal. He's staggeringly average. Our starting location is totally random. Bad temper, lol. Heavy sleeper, lol. Yeah, this... Oh, fucking Christ. I really did make me, minus the obviously calyptic psychosis, which I feel like we all forgot I put on this character. Minus the calyptic psychosis. All right. So I'm going to close this for a second in case it crashes out. Wow, it worked instantly. What's that in your hand, Evan? Did he spawn in a fucking city? Oh, no. All right, hang on. This is a bad scene. <laughs> this was a bad scene. Uh, we're in Island Falls in a beautiful library, which is a good scene. Starting in a library is insane. If we can get out of it with our stuff. Now, we're in the middle of a city. That's a bad scene. You have no idea what's out there. But currently, there's no one here. Get on the ground. 
Someone heard that. <laughs> someone, someone heard Evan as he lays down on the ground and planks on the table and then flops off, making a big, loud banging sound as he hits the ground. What's in your hand, Evan? Frozen antipsychotics. I forgot we're dressed in a fucking karate uniform still. Oh, boy. Okay, uh, we, we have zero space to hold things. And all we have for a weapon right now is a bottle of prescription medication. Okay, well, safe mode is on. If I see something, it's gonna, I'm gonna be alerted. Right outside the window is a beautiful fucking forest, which is nice. A beautiful, tiny patch of trees. Right there. And beyond that is the local uh, open sewer. Right outside of Evan's old neighborhood. He obviously lives in this area. Uh, this is actually, he, his house is directly next to um, the library. He's been here reading how to defeat a huge man. All right, we're just gonna, we're gonna get into a crouch here. And we're gonna see, Chad, if we can't find ourselves. Did you hear? That's a huge zombie. But it's not a huge man. It's just a, a fat zombie. All right, Chad, here's the plan. Can't throw anything because I, ha I have the bottle. <laughs> Evan throws his fucking psychotic drugs, his antipsychotics, directly at the zombie, just slapping it right in the forehead. <laughs> Get away from me! He yells as he runs to the fucking library door and opens it, dives in and closes the door behind him. You won't be able to stay in here for long. He quickly starts rummaging through the shelves. Maybe something in here can save Evan's life. There's a book about ham radios, a book about amateur home radios, a book about computer science 101, 301, advanced electronics. This is all really cool mechanical stuff that, um, Evan will not be able to use right now. But if he ever wants to get into mechanics, the options are there. Good news is he's shrouded in darkness, so this other huge zombie can't see him yet. It's the only thing keeping him alive. But that zombie, the fat zombie, is going to break down that door any minute now. We have to move quickly. We're taking a look around for anything that might be magical. Fortunately, everything on these library shelves seems to be about... Advanced electronics and various transistors, which is objectively useless to us. Um, it seems that this library is a library for smart people. Advanced physical chemistry. Chemistry textbooks. The Essential Oil Enthusiast's Handbook. The Art and Science of Chemical Warfare. But not one book about magic. So what? There's a bunch of there's a bunch of magic there's a, a bunch of sewing stuff, but not a single book about arcane art, which is actually really fucking bad. That's actually the worst possible thing that could happen. There's not one book. There's, hang on, wait. Oh my god. Evan opens the bookshelf. It's the young adult fiction section. Tragically situated directly next to the erotic novel section. Evan storms past. He's looking for magic books. He's looking for something he can carry out of here to learn spells once he's found a place to hide. It's all crime dramas. This place sucks. 
Not a single thing in this place we can use, chat. Not a single thing. This place is... This place is for... Not a single thing here matters to Evan. Especially not the art of Japanese armor making. In the corner shelf. Why would he need that now? A little late. He doubles back behind him. And grabs the first erotic novel he can see. And starts reading it as he sprints out of the building. Alright chat, here's the plan. That zombie can see us. Matter of fact, they can all see us. This character is doomed. This very- Evan Frowny Face was doomed the moment he spawned in a fucking city in Cataclysm. Our only choice right now, because that other zombie saw us, is to book it out of here and run as fast as we can directly north to here, into the field. Or dive into an open sewer. Because everything else is honestly just a bad scene. It's a, it's a radio station. We could climb up the tower. It's looking bad. We're going to turn off safe mode. And then Evan's going to do the only reasonable thing he can do in this scenario. And that's smash a window open with his erotic novel. And meanwhile, he's going to uh, read the title of it. Uh, a hackneyed fictional narrative concealing low-grade literary smut. Um, it doesn't have a title, but, I mean, maybe we'll have time to enjoy it later. Uh, has anyone know How many zombies have noticed me? Let's see. Uh, most zombies do not know I'm here. A couple in the road do. Evan's going to start running for it. He may have a chance. He might have a chance to do something here. The door is to it. Evan never locked the back door to his house ever. Not once in his whole life. He he, he just didn't own a key. He doesn't know how to un he doesn't know how to lock the door. He sneaks back into his house. It's full of n gnomes today. The, his back his living room is full of gnomes today. He doesn't know why he didn't leave them here. He throws in an erotic novel at one of them. He misses horribly, embarrassingly. He goes into his garage. Grandma! <laughs> Grandma, no! Grandma's fucking dead. Evan's grandma is fucking dead. He runs to the hatchet and he picks it up. Runs to the door. And he does the smartest thing he can do, knowing that even as a zombie, Mima's horrible hips and bad knee will be her downfall as he leads her towards a collection of various furniture she will be required to crawl over in order to close the gap on this weak baby child idiot. Well, I lost the non-violence trait as Evan decisively delivers a unbelievably crippling blow to Mima for 34 damage, a critical strike upon Mima's flesh. As Mima barely is able to stumble over the chair, he swings another swing, but he misses wildly. From the southeast, you hear a wump as the zombies outside close in on Evan's backyard. Evan backs up, forcing Mima to climb onto the table, at which point he slices wildly, misses, and then wonders to himself, what's the point of fighting? Why is he doing this? This is Mima. And then he swings again for 16 damage. And backs up once more. He swings again for another 17 damage. As Mima stumbles off of the table. He then runs away a little bit. 
as he allows Mima to try to close the gap again. 17 damage. And with a final critical slice to Mima's freaking head, she falls to the de to the ground and dies. Nice job, Evan. Evan picks up his axe again and proceeds to smash Grandma's body into the ground, completely destroying it and splattering blood all over his nice living room. I'm pretty sure there's a zombie breaking into my house. Evan closes his, his blinds and goes back to the living room Evan didn't really like his house anymore. He has a weapon. But three's a crowd. And frankly, he just doesn't really want to deal with that right now. He's having a bad day, like most days. Is that a zombie soldier? We're living. How's your day been so far, Evan? <laughs> Evan crawls on top of a fucking convenience store. He looks around at the world around him. Where am I? Oh, sorry, antique store. Having a bad day. Where is this here? A cell phone signal booster. He destroys it. Not because he had to, but because he wanted to. Perhaps with his extra vision, Evan can see something. No. Mm -mm. No. There's nothing. Evan's best bet remains the same. And it's to run as fast as he can. Northwest. What's up, idiot? Evan runs as fast as he can. And then stops running and just goes into a sort of a normal walk uh, away from the zombie horde. That's a cunning feral. This feral human's eyes look more focused and its movement steadier than the others of their kind. They're carrying a crude spear and have assembled some basic armor from scavenged clothing and bits of riot armor. Though you can see several gaps, despite these signs of greater intelligence, this creature is still only a few steps away from being a zombie themselves. <gasps> Stay back! Oh my god, if I could just fucking grab that before I go. fucking wood saw. Even Evan knows how good that would be to have this early. No, we'll just remember it's here. It's a runner. Evan's got to do some crazy moves to get away from this thing. It'll catch him in time. I'm not sure that's going to fucking cut it, Evan. I'm just not sure closing the window and Pulling the blinds is going to stop him. But we'll have to see. That might be enough. Is that a roving peck of humans? Oh boy, Evan. Oh, Evan, you fuck up. You gotta get the fuck out of here. That zombie freaking bit me! I don't need the mixer. What I need is to live. Unfortunately, this road is packed. Owie! Ow! Ow! Chat, this isn't looking good. Matter of fact, 
This is looking really bad. This might be the end of Evan 1. That engine is faulty. However, it says there's gas in that gas tank and a car battery. There's a chance Evan can make it to that car with careful movement. Thread the needle. Okay, going through the car was a bad decision. I'm getting shot. But Evan's still alive, baby! Evan is still alive! It worked! It worked! We got most of the horde in that house! I mean, car! And he's just- he's just bleeding! Evan books it for the truck! He gets inside, he remembers he doesn't have a license. And, uh, it looks like the, uh, looks like the one thing that was broken here was the actual, um... Controls for the car. There's no wheel. He climbs inside of the mint conditioned vehicle and realizes someone unscrewed the wheel. An overall bad scene that could suddenly become a very good scene. As he dives out of the fucking car and runs towards the fence. Okay, I forgot that's a human. They know how to open doors. All right, Evan really dropped the ball on that one. That, this, it's looking like this might be the end of old Evan. Stop doing that. <laughs> Stop. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Evan dies. The first of many Evans. Good news is, uh, we're just gonna reset the world and make an exact clone of Evan because that was a city game. And typically if I spawn the city, I just give up uh, because city games are, uh, you know, accursed. So we're just going to make another Evan. I'm just loading it up now. I don't think a modded version of Cataclysm you can survive in a city without like knowing you're going to spawn in a city. Because you can. You can totally do a city run. But you have to know you're going to be in a city. Because if you just spawn in a city without the right stuff, you're done. It's super hard. Uh... It's super hard to not be on the outskirts. Like full central. All right, Evan. It's time for sure. Evan wakes up in his toilet. Not in a city, but near the city, which is doable. He's not in the city. This is salvageable. He's currently inside of his house. We need to be careful because grandma could be in here. His, all of his blinds are, Evan was hiding from something. I think he got a text from the huge man. Evan awakes, un half unconscious in his sink. He decides to peek through his closed curtains. He knows the huge man. He knows the world is over. Wait. Yeah, he, yeah, he knows the world is over. But what he doesn't know is when the huge man will come. Peeks outside of all of his curtains. Trying to see just how bad it's gotten out there. The answer is bad. But no one knows he's in here yet. He really should have bought new clothes, though, was the problem. He's been wearing the same really bad clothes 
The only pair of clothes he owns, as a matter of fact, are clothes he got when he was in middle school. And a designer bra. He doesn't know whose that is. It's, it's not his. It's not his. That's not his. That's not his. That's not his. But hey. He's gonna, he's gonna put on the ankle socks. And a t-shirt. Okay, we're actually wearing some ankle socks already. Okay, so right now looking at my character. Our encumbrance is very low. We're gonna put on some extra stuff because we have the space. We're gonna put on this knit cowl. I'm gonna spit out my mouthpiece because I just don't want that. I just don't want it. I don't believe we can make a sling out of a quilt. We can, quilt works. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a makeshift backpack out of this quilt. Which of course we can't see well enough to do it because it's so dark. Is that a microscopic solar car? Is that a clever cab? Damn it. Clever cabs don't have any kind of steering wheel. We can't use them. We can't use a clever cab. But whatever, Evan is going to open the blinds and step back. He needs to make this. He's gonna stand right here in the darkness. Well, in the near the edge. He's gonna get down, lay down flat. So if anything walks by the window, it can't just see in. I'm gonna drop my antipsychotics. I'm going to finish making this sling. Put it on. And now we have some space to carry things. It's not a lot, but we have 10 liters of volume in this blanket to carry things. Which is good, because in a minute we're going to leave this place. There's only a couple things we're going to want. Okay. And it's specifically because we started with nothing... We want a sponge so we can wash clothes later because we don't own anything. We don't have clothes. We're going to have to steal them from a zombie. Uh, so I'm grabbing a sponge so I can clean clothes later. Oh my god. We, should, we need to bulk up now before the huge man comes. We can only grab what will, what will travel well. I'm going to grab all the butter. Okay, we're gonna grab all the butter. We're gonna grab all the hard cheese. We're gonna grab all the bologna. And all of my chocolate milk. We're gonna grab all of the chocolate milk. Hotline Miami music. Hotline Miami music is safe. For sure, everything from this game is, uh, all, everything in the soundtrack right now is either pulled from a Discord user or from, like, games. So, it's safe. It's safe for the stream. There's only a couple that aren't safe, and it's like, if, uh, I hear, like, fucking, I hear Blizzard start playing, then I'd start be, then I'd start sweating. If I heard, like, if I heard, like, fucking one or two specific Hotline Miami songs, I'd start feeling a little bit more uncomfortable. But, uh, we're fine. Uh, let's see here. Pudding. Grab it. Yogurt. Grab. Pretty much grab everything of food we see. Because we have no idea where we're going to be stopping yet. Copper pot. We do need a pot. We don't have a lot of space, though. We can't bring any seasoning. There's not enough space. But I will add... I will grab one steak knife. So I have a cutting tool. And my delicious toasters. 
We don't have enough space for all these, though. We'll ditch the yogurt and the pudding. We don't need them anymore. We have toastums. We have my toastums. Confused toaster pants, thanks for the five tier two gifted subs. Thank you very much. We're grabbing the toastums. And lastly, we're gonna grab a scroll, a scroll of Cure Light Wounds from my bookshelf. I was learning magic. Grab some soap too. I don't need this that badly yet. I don't need, I don't need to drink toilet water yet. You biomancer spells? My brother in Christ. There is a huge man that knows where I live and will kill me. Cure light wounds may actually save my life. Also, because of a mod I have, I don't have to commit to a magical tree. I can take every spell in the game. Uh, which I think is way more fun than committing to like, I'm a, I'm a technomancer and I only found out two hours after playing that all my spells suck. So I can take every tree. It, it, I'm not limited by like, a, oh, you're part of a certain team of wizards. No, I just take, if a spell looks good, I take it. Uh, I'm allowed to. All right. We are officially going out there. I am going to eat some floor yogurt and pudding, though. We're going to bulk up. And maybe grab this egg carton. Because eggs keep a while. And maybe grab the... Oh, there's actually stuff in here. I didn't even notice this cabinet. Okay, we might need to drop some of this baloney. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's stuff in there. I didn't even see that stuff. Uh, we're gonna need to grab this. Uh, a flashlight. Because we don't have one. I'm pretty sure we can do stuff with these garbage bags. Or more specifically, the seven gallon size zipper bags. I'm also gonna grab the X-Acto knife and the duct tape. And the scissors. And the matchbox. And the screwdriver. Good start. Uh, I want to take the copper pop. I won't have space. Which is why I'm going to grab it with my bare hands. And use it as my weapon. We have everything we need now. I'm going to quick save the game. For the record, I play with the cataclysm rules of instant deaths as a result of stupid mod shit. Are not eligible for um, permadeathing. I, I usually play with the rule of like, if I walked into some stupid shit and it killed me, absolutely. If I got killed because uh, a turret shot me from five miles away and I don't recognize what that even is because it was added by a mod, no dice. We we play with we play with reasonable. I made my I made my bed rules basically uh, for cataclysm. All right, so we are going to be leaving this area. Um, cities are still dangerous as shit. Is that a magic shop? Here's the thing, chat. Does it mean magic in my way I want of like, Fireball, or does it mean magic is in I'm going to put myself in danger and then Someone there's gonna be like magic the gathering cards in there Am I going to go in there and there's gonna be like a fucking top hat and like a wand and like a person with like a clown nose and like some cards Because there's either, it's either funny magic or it's, there's living homunculuses in there that will try to kill me, but there's actual stuff I can use in there, magic. You know what? Either way, we gotta go outside. We normally, even like this, I would be more inclined to wait until the sunset before I go outside. But, um, we don't have that choice right now. We have to go. I don't see any monsters. I'm gonna start peeking. 
because we need to get out of this building and to the edge of the woods. I see four zombies, but that's it. We're at the edge of the city, so it's not going to be as dense. Uh, they shouldn't be able to see me. There's one zombie that we're going to have to deal with that's right there that just killed a bird. One fat, disgusting piece of shit zombie. Although they are fat, we might just be able to outrun them. But they were behind a tree while I was peeking. Specifically this one. So I wasn't able to see them. Let's see here. Hang on, I just want to make sure I know right here. Starting house. Just so I don't, because we're in a fucking town or a city. I want to know where I actually came out in relation to me. Also, I love the update to the map. Uh, I know some of these things like R's and 9's. Uh, that just means that they are from a mod that doesn't have the graphics added to it yet here. But, um, you're gonna have to deal with this guy. Specifically, I think it's just him. My melee skill is lacking. Um, let me see here. This is a 6 bash minus 2 to hit weapon versus a 2 bash 7 pierce minus 2 to hit. Dude, wield the fucking steak knife and drop the pot on the ground. We have to dispatch this zombie. He wants us so bad, fine. Get in between the fern. My pot! We don't got this? Now nah, I'm gonna show you guys how we, uh... Hang on. Okay, that one doesn't- it doesn't matter if that one sees us. I'm gonna show you guys how you- how you game. We gotta get this idiot zombie to crawl onto this fern really slowly. And then we get two free hits. Because he's on a fern and he used his entire action to crawl over it. Then, we run away like a little pansy while he tries to get off of the fern. Oh. That happens sometimes. Don't worry, everything's fine. We make him crawl back onto the fern. And we get another two free hits. Maybe even three, if we're feeling crazy. Then we back up again. And we go to the next fern. And we make him crawl onto it, and we stab him three more times. And then we go over the next fern. And I remember that I should really take off my sling. Because it's making this harder. So I kind of just get bored of fighting him at that point. And I do the smarter thing in this scenario. And I just go into the woods and leave. Because I don't feel like dropping my sling. No, my pot. I'm going to double back. Also, that copper pot's not important. What's important right now is that that zombie also saw me. I need to turn back on safe mode. That fucking fat zombie's still after me, dude. That thing's a mile away and it's still fucking after me. Well, we're going for that trail. We're gonna thread the needle between these two and we're gonna go for that trail. The zombie will lose me once I do this for long enough. And then we just have to hope we don't walk into anyone that sees us. Cast a spell. I didn't cast a spell. I didn't get a level 5 spell. What are you talking about? I got credit for another NPC spell, I think. So, there's an NPC around here that casted a spell, and I, and I got credit for their achievement. There is a master wizard in this magic shop that just casted a, a, a ninth level fucking spell. We're just trying to make sure that we ditch... This zombie. We should be naturally faster through this. Make sure safe mode's on. Just want to hit the trail. Okay. Not sure why there's a manhole in the middle of a field. Woods. 
Uh, yeah, um... We're not gonna touch this. Plus, I wouldn't be able to open it if I wanted to. Uh, but we are gonna label it. I'm gonna give it an M for magenta. I'm gonna make it a magenta. Big M that says main hole. So I always know there's a manhole right here. There's treasure in that death hole that'll kill me if I go in it. Alright, chat. Right now, even though we know there's a huge man coming, we can't... We need a place to, like, leave our things. Okay? We have nothing. And we don't know anything. And we suck. Our best bet is to follow a path till we hit a... Uh, actually, hang on. That's a clothing store. That place might got backpacks. God damn it, dude. Fitting music. Yeah, this is music to uh, die in the middle of the woods, too. While your character heavily breathes. That's music to die in the woods. All right, let's just go. I really want to try to get in that magic shop. That's a giant grasshopper. A large grasshopper a few times bigger than a regular one. Very cool. Okay, chat, let's just creep to the magic shop. Let's... Maybe... Maybe it won't be that bad. We just need something. We need something to really make our character not suck. Besides, we have the woods to run back to. I'm just going to rest until I get my stamina back, and then we're going to go for it. Surely it'll be super safe. It'll be fine. It's fenced in. Chad, it's f the backyard is fenced in. I'm going in. I'm in. I don't see anything. Backyard is a nice zen garden. That's the that's the good kind of magic. That's a fireball staff. That's a minor wand of fireball right there, motherfucker. Now this is this is music to get a magical wand of death to. All right, uh, this is good. 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 If there's not a creature in it, so we're gonna close that door. Peer inside the bathroom. Bathroom. I hate it when bathrooms have windows, dude. I fuck it. I truly don't fucking trust it. But let's take a look around. We have to clear this place now. I'm gonna take a step. I'm gonna take a step. We just gotta get to those windows. I have night vision, we just need to get to those windows. All right. Prone style. Back up. I'm not gonna open any doors I don't need to open. Because there can be, like, creatures in magic shops. What was that? Oh, that was just a book. Okay, there's another window. Is that a security van? That's a pretty solid repellent. I, I A tank would be cool, too. Look, chat, here's the good thing about this map right now. That's because of mods I have. I'm not entirely sure which mod it is, or maybe base game, since it's been a while since I've played. Uh, diesel vehicles uh, can be fueled with, I believe, JP-8, which is a special kind of fuel, like a higher quality diesel. And you can get fucking buckets of that shit at helipads. And helipads are very easy to clear. It's like jet fuel. Uh, I believe you can just use diesel in, well, JP-8 in, um, diesel. So, uh, 
It's very easy to clear those helipads because all the zombies go after the uh, watchtowers and you just throw a grenade at them or hit them with like a fireball spell. So you end up, if we need a, something that uses diesel, because we're going to run it off of jet fuel. It's very easy to find them. Don't helipads have crows? Not always. Not always. I've two helipads I found were only guarded by like some scary like black ops soldiers and they were horribly susceptible to um fireballs. Uh all of them were. So I just ran up. I sprinted up as like 8000 zombies are trying to like eat a fucking tower, like a spotlight tower. Fucking eight fireballs into the crowd and killed like 30 guys at once. Isn't JPA also, like, extraordinarily toxic and really carcinogenic? Shut up, you fucking idiot. Do I dare open any doors? I don't think so. Okay, let's take a look around. There's only one book I'm looking for right now. Don't care. Don't care. Sonic Force, don't care. Seed growth? Don't care. Wind running? Don't care. What's in here? Greater staff of magic missile. Pff, care. From the northeast and above, you hear Valentin Elder Sosto, healer, saying, Ah! Motherfucking... What is that? That's the Master Wizard. It's him. He cast a level five spell. I wield the staff of greater magic missile. Yes. He doesn't look like a wizard. Did you jump from the second floor? Because you were yelling that from your house. I'm just gonna go ahead and close that again. Gandalf, but he has a crossbow this time. Complete idiot's guide to technomancy. Wait, if he's down here looking for a noise that I made when I stole his uh, staff, I'll go upstairs. And, oh, hey. Nice place, man. I must purge this land of its curse. Will you help or hinder our mission? Hello, pal. What's going on, pal? Blessed be, may you purge that which opposes the calm. Why don't you go somewhere else? <laughs> I must purge this place before I can move on. Want to get out of here? Why should I travel with you? I can keep you safe. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, we have some time before huge man finds us what if we squat in this guy's house because if huge man shows up this guy will attack him and he may buy me time to escape maybe we we save some time by training in magic here with this master wizard and then bug out when the man gets here is huge man killable Yes. Matter of fact, we have we have two missions. One, obtain my black belt. You could have become a master in martial arts if you had the chance. So train until you achieve the level of a master in the old world and find yourself a nice black belt to commemorate the occasion. And, more importantly, right now, kill your pursuer. Since the start of the Cataclysm, something's been hunting you relentlessly. You could outrun it, but never truly escape it. It won't end until one of you dies. So I have two goals. Is that a pressure cooker? 
Did you? Valentin, did you hear that? I heard a footstep. I'm still looking for the spell. God damn it, I don't think we're gonna find it in here. That's tragic. Well. At least this place is relatively safe. And I got I have a bed to squat in with my good friend, Valentin. My good my good friend. Can I do anything for you? I have a job for you. Do you wanna hear about it? Sure. This world is fallen to chaos and death. Remove 50 of the cursed from this world. Okay. All right. Can you give me some stuff? Why should I share my equipment with you? I'm helping you. He has nothing to give. I'll just help myself to your property in your house then. Asshole. Um. You following me? Wait, we're not friends, are we? Blessed be. I killed it. Do I lie and tell him I killed 50 cursed beings without walking out of the room? I'll get back to it. I don't like this music. Did we inadvertently become friends? Why is he following me? I don't remember it saying that I, I don't I failed the follow me check. I think he's just seeing He wants to watch. He said he was gonna come with me. Oh baby. Nice Valentin, nice. Well, Valentin, I mean, I'm gonna need a minute. Unless your mana potion. Oh, I think I can just grab this. <laughs> Sorry about that, Valentin. I don't actually need to break these. Hang on. Minor wand of fireball. We have a greater staff of magic missile. We're gonna stick with that. God damn it, dude. I need more space. Look, encumbrance is bad, but we don't own any backpacks. We have to make more makeshift slings. Because making a backpack is expensive. Even one made out of boxes. We can keep making slings out of this guy's blankets. And we can wear a couple of them. You know, the craftsmanship on this magic staff is kinda lacking. kind of just a stick yeah there is a clothing store nearby chap and I'm kind of spooked to go for it still I guess it kind of look here's the thing chat magic missile isn't a good spell I know this about magiclism Evan might not know it but I know it look let's grab some books quick because I want to look through some stuff scroll book of sonic force using this spell will unleash a quite strong destructive blast of sonic force shattering everything in the, in its distance anything close enough will take double damage 65 damage is enough to instantly kill a zombie how long does it take to cast it we're not that skilled yet these are scrolls sonic demolition Using this spell will unleash a devastating, destructive blast of sonic force, causing a massive earthquake and shattering anything in its distance. Anything close enough will take. It's just a stronger version that I guess can cause damage to like environmental stuff. Yeah, these are some long cast times. These are not like combat spells. They're like punching through a wall spells. Introduction to the divine. Another cure light wounds, blinding flash, and bless. Okay, that's like the D and D spell. Blinding blast could stop huge man from choking me to death. Blind if I blind him, he can't strangle me. Krillin tactics. Chat, we are a Krillin right now. Scroll of wind running. We're going to grab all these books and we're going to just see what's worth bringing with us elsewhere. 
Is that a broom? It's not even magic. <laughs> this isn't even a magic one. We really did not have that many books in this place that are good. We got pretty bad luck on these magic books. This magic store is actually kind of not great. It's not as good as it could be. At all. But, let's take a look at the others. Wind running. A magical wind pushes you forward as you move, easing your movements and increasing your speed. This might be the most important spell for us, us to learn right now. Because it'll let us get away. We don't have a source of water to quench our thirst other than fucking a gallon of chocolate milk we're carrying around right now. Which I'm keenly aware of. We're kind of in a situation. Alright, Seed of Growth. Offer some of your life in a ritual to get tokens of growth in return. That's nothing to me. Right now, at least, it's nothing to me. We're not going to keep that. Uh, guide to Technomancy. This spell creates a very short range bolt of electricity to shock your foes. It actually doesn't use mana. It uses batteries. Uh, you, this uses battery power. So we, uh, we can't just learn. We can't just learn it the way I want. Uh, but we can learn Lesser Quantum Tunnel, which objectively could save our life should the huge man punch through the wizard's wall and try to grab me and snap my neck. Do you think about it. Use your head. Activate Lesser Quantum Tunnel. Weep. Weep. And teleport out of the room. The spell manipulates some of your, some quantum something or other to tunnel you through a short distance of space and even matter. Unfortunately, there's that whole uncertainty thing as to where you'll come out. It leaves you a little dazed on the other side as you reorient yourself. Jet, I think we go upstairs. We read Windrunner, we learn it, and then we learn Quantum Tunnel. And we hope we don't telefrag ourselves. What's up, Manda and Lena? What's up? How much chocolate milk do I have? It's still cold. Delicious. I'll drink one now. I'm sure this guy won't mind if I help myself to his dried blueberries. All right, we're gonna start while the sun, we don't even know what time it is. We only know from like how bright it is outside. I don't know how long it'll take me to learn it, but we need to learn wind running first and foremost. We have to learn it. Or we don't learn it yet and we capitalize on the fact that this guy's gonna come with me and we use him to clear the clothing store and we get a backpack. We're gonna drop a bunch of crap here. We have to take advantage of this guy now before huge man shows up. We have no idea how much longer it's gonna- we don't know where he starts. Okay, we just know that at some point he'll be here. Okay, I'm gonna drop all of my stuff that I'm carrying that I don't immediately need. Aside from like food. We don't need antipsychotics. We don't. What do you need those for? Drop all this. Is there anything metal in here that I can trash? No. I was gonna trash some of his stuff so that I could um make a makeshift crowbar. I don't see anything in here that I can trash that's made out of metal that, like, I could easily trash. Nope. Nothing. <clears throat> Alright. Wait. Hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 swap with me. Can I see the full details of this from here? No. We have to go outside on the first floor to check that. I want to see if that car could work. I don't want to poke my head out out there. Surely this archmage won't cast some big ass AoE spell the moment he sees one zombie that either kills tomato or attracts the whole town. That is why we quick save, friend. That is why we quick save. Because that would not count. Hang on. Put my staff away. Come on, man. And safe mode's on. I'm going to check this other house before we do anything. Come on, man. 
Tough zombie in the house. Yeah, we're ready. We'll fight it. You can take a tough zombie. I have a magic missile. Prepare yourself, zombie of the... Of the cursed realm, for we... Oh, he's actually not even using magic. He's just shooting a crossbow. I was expecting he would... I mean, it was a good hit. I cast a level 10, 15, 20 version of Magic Missile. On this badly bleeding tough zombie. Ha! For 30 damage. That's a lot of Magic Missile. And we have another 40 of those. I'm gonna leave the rest to this guy. I'm not gonna fight. Besides, if he dies, I get his clothes. Come on. Nice! Epic! I'll take his bolts. We're gonna get him killed. We need his clothes. That is part of the plan. I just want him to die somewhere where I can easily collect his... You know... Stuff. All right, get down, man. Get down. He's standing full body in the window. I really wanted to close the window so that zombies wouldn't see me. He is like, what? He walked right in. And I was like, just looking out the window. I'm guessing it's covered in zombies. All right. Dude, you're bleeding bad, man. Man, you're like. Mostly bleeding now. Materials in you and a note from a survivor. What does this say? The great wheel turns. I got lasers for days. Or until my arms fall off. Amen, brother. Amen. Any zombies? One. That there's no. I want to get into that basement. I need to cross this threshold. Get down. Did that zombie instantly see me? Cool, it didn't. Cool, cool, cool. It's probably going to come over here right now, though. But, uh... I tried. Staff of the Magi and ma Magical Mechanics. See, I told you there's a lot of magic. I added a lot of magic to this mod pack. So many books will be about magic. Uh, which means we have a chance of actually fucking... You know, finding some good stuff. What does this actually teach me? This is a crafting book. <laughs> what the other one? What's Staff of the Magi? Crafting book. <laughs> this window is open. Huge bandage. Absolutely massive. Painkillers. Heartburn medication, multivitamins. All the things we need to survive. Is that fat zombie? Oh. Right there. Get them! Get them! Get them, my friend! How's he doing? He's getting here, Tim. Valentin was a pretty squishy character. Wow, he fell over. He fell over. Valentin! No! No! <gasps> Absolutely fucking outplayed. 
All right, so now we're gonna loot his body. We're gonna take his clothes. We're gonna wear them. We're gonna take his crossbow. We're gonna own it now. That's our weapon now. We're gonna learn crossbows. We're gonna use it to kill huge man. Also, that magic tower is our property now. We were his apprentice. Hey man. Ooh, a couple of you. This is actually okay. Because I have this magic missile staff and we have extra magic missile staffs. I'm gonna clear all these guys because I gotta get to his body. Okay. Ignore. Blast these motherfuckers. Kill them all. We have a ton of uses of this. That was my first kill. My first kill chat was by blasting a zombie with a magic missile. Who thought it would be like this? There's two. And this will be three. We're not gonna let him. Okay. I pressed I, I mean L, which is technically a movement button. Kind of pisses me off, but we're okay. Okay. And they're all dead. Allegedly. We don't know if there's gonna be... Oh, yeah. It's a whole fucking trip. This is fine because we were going this way anyways to clear the... Um... The clothing store. So, these guys are fine so much as the huge man doesn't show himself. We have the charges for it. I just don't... You see, I'm only hyper-aware of the fact that this guy, Valentin's corpse, is going to get up soon. And once that happens, I won't be able to get his leather backpack. I'll have to wash it first. It'll become filthy. So, I have to get to him before his body becomes alive again. Is it just me or the webcam slightly out of sync? It gets a little bit out of sync over time, but I don't think it's necessarily enough for me to stress out about it because it's like microscopic it's like extremely minor i'm only keeping it on for this game because uh I think, I think as far as webcam is concerned, it's kind of good for Cataclysm because there's not a lot. It's more of a visual storytelling game, so I feel like it kind of works for this. Uh, but I, I still don't want to get into the habit of using webcam for all my streams, to be clear. That's not the intention of this. This is only because it just so happened to be webcam for this. Though I, I will look into the, the sync thing if it's if it becomes like a very obvious problem. But the issue is that to fix it when I remember that there's a slight, a tiny microscopic amount of one, uh, you can't really do it live. You have to, I'd have to end the stream and then fix it I have to stop the whole thing. We're in. First of all, Check the surroundings for anything else. Are we alone? Yes. Good, good, good. Alan! Strip down. Take it all off, Alan. Wait, who? <laughs> okay, that zombie's too far away to stop me. Take it all off, Alan. All of it. Known as the day you were born, Alan. Damn, my guy's kind of fucking huge, man. And now, equip only the highest quality of clothes, specifically from our dead friend. Boxer shorts, on. Cotton hat, on. Filter mask, gamer watch, on. Jeans, on. Leather backpack, on. Leather belt, on. 
Long wool scarf on. Sneakers on before the socks. Polo shirt on. Sheets. Not on. Trench coat on. Undershirt over the trench coat. And now, because we have a backpack, we can ditch these fucking slings. Which look like backpacks, but don't let that fool you. They're not. They're slings. And they, they slow you down and make you really encumbered, which makes them truly the worst things to carry around if you don't need it. Grab the crossbow. I don't believe we can actually keep the crossbow in our inventory. It's too wide. Actually change the layer, you coward. Push me. Yeah, you gonna push me around? I don't even remember the button to go to the layer page. For the record, I'd actually go into this. Where the fucking what even is the layer button? Isn't it plus? Plus. From innermost to outermost. I would put on a trench coat first in the morning. Every morning I wake up, I put on completely nude. I'm naked. I put on my trench coat. The last thing I do every day is I put on my fucking socks. Over the shoes. Yeah. 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 The trench coat stays on all the time. It stays on 24 seven. Oh yeah. All right. How many, how, chat, here's the thing. The only reason I'm keeping this fucking crossbow right now is because I have, like, because I have bolts for it. Like, truly, I don't plan on using a crossbow. Magic is better. But, um, it's definitely... This music's fucking freaking me out, dude. I still want to go to the clothing store, but I see there's a window on that side of the field, so we're gonna cut wide. Very wide. We're on safe mode while we do it. If anything closes in on us, I will fucking know. Is it a couple of them down there? Ooh, I don't like fighting a couple of zombies at all. But we still have, we still have the greater magic stave. I think I'm gonna go kill these two and then we'll deal with everyone else. Once I've... It's him. The huge moose. The eastern moose. The largest living species of deer. While they aren't typically aggressive unless provoked, the autumn mating season can make the bulls quite ill-tempered. It's spring. <laughs> this music's fucking startling me, dude. I heard a scream. I gotta deal with the zombies. The moose shouldn't be- <laughs> The moose shouldn't be a problem! However, if the zombies, oh, I just saw it. The zombies, the zombies run right towards it. We gotta get out of here. Nope. Nope. 
I'm not doing it. I'm not- I won't do it. Here's what we're gonna do instead. Kitchen. Grab a copper frying pan, we didn't have one yet. We didn't loot any of this place. We'll grab some food. Because currently we're living in the wizard's house, even though he's dead. Even though we have no... We truly have nothing. At all. Just gonna grab... We're just gonna raid this fridge. Because until the huge man gets here, I can't just drink this. I can't. Chad, I can't just drink this fucking melted cold fresh milkshake from someone's styrofoam cup. Drank all of it. Drank all of it. Every last drop of that fucking. We don't have to sleep. We don't have to sleep. We can just live off of coffee forever. That's an atomic coffee maker. If it says atomic in front of it, it means something very good. An atomic coffee maker, of course, chat, is a Curie G coffee maker by Copatech. It famously uses a radioactive generator to heat water for coffee. Normally, the water is heated using energy stored in a capacitor and makes ordinary coffee. However, as a special, special feature, water from the RTG containment area can be used, giving the coffee a very special kick. The Curie G is illegal in most countries. What? Special kind of kick. This thing's banned. You know that, right? It's not- Chad, who gives two shits about infinite, renewable, clean water? No one cares, okay? I have chocolate milk. I have chocolate milk. No one cares. What I care about is the special kick. That might be the kind of kick we need to take down the huge man. Why would I take this? So I can like whistle for help when the huge man comes to break me in half? like that well hey cool news is believe it or not you can also completely fine use an atomic coffee machine to heat up anything it's a universal heating mechanism you can just shove anything into the coffee machine that will heat it up so is this safe it's safe enough Oh, I need to learn Windrunner. Now. Close all the doors in the building. Grab the stabs. In a couple days, huge man will come. And when he does, we will be ready. Or so help me God. Oh, there's one more wand. I don't think I want it, though. I do. These magic missiles are good. All right, chat. We don't know when Huge Man will come. We don't know if he can climb stairs yet. What we do know is that we'll hear him coming. And we need to learn Windrunner. Now. Eight, it's 9 a.m. We need to learn how to wind run because it's the only way we can outrun the huge man.
you know now that you oh i forgot about my calyptic psychosis <laughs> The whole time we're reading this stuff, we're hearing we're getting some horrible psychosis. Okay, we're all right. All right, we've learned the spell. Wind running. A magical wind pushes you forward as you move, easing your movement and increasing speed. 55% chance to fail the spell every time we cast it right now because we have no practice in it. So here's what we do now. We read it again. Because we can level it without using it simply by reading. So we're going to read it until we gain a spell level. If we, raise like, if we raise it to level like three or four, it should lower the failure chance to the point that it won't immediately... Like, the odds will be much higher that we don't drop the ball. I'm starting to get a little hungry. Words get, words out to get me. You're being watched by them. You start to shake uncontrollably. You hear glass breaking, but it can't be him. It can't be the huge man. My theoretical understanding of spellcraft goes up to three, and my spellcraft skill goes up to three. However, I still haven't learned how to level up Windrunner. I'm prepared to spend the whole night doing this, by the way. I'm prepared to level... Uh, hopefully the sun doesn't set before I learn the spell. Really hoping we get level two before the sun sets. It's been all day. I've been reading this all day. We have plenty of food. Evan gets angry. Because <laughs> the crossbow says, <laughs> the crossbow says, I love you. Evan gets angry. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. You don't know anything about me. You wouldn't love me if you knew what I was. Don't lie to me. I'm hungry. I'm gonna drink some milk. <laughs> Cause this thing has a low shelf life and won't keep forever. I drink a gallon and a half of milk and I just sit there. How's the casting chance now? 43. All right. I wouldn't mind even better. But, you know, could be worse. All right, chat. Here's the situation. We're gonna make ourselves a sandwich. Okay. We're gonna make ourselves a sandwich out of bologna and cheese and sauerkraut. And ketchup. This may be one of the last sandwiches we get to eat before a huge man shows up and punches my face off. It's gonna be a good sandwich. It's got all the workings of a good sandwich. And now I'm going to go ahead and make myself a makeshift knapsack out of, wait a minute. Evan, 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 how edgy are you trying to be? Remove the sleeves of the trench coat and become the warrior. Evan is on the way of becoming a great warrior, chat. It's only natural. He removes the sleeves and puts back on the sleeveless trench coat. Take it easy, man. And then, naturally, he then proceeds to create a pair of safety glasses. Because safety first. But they're tinted. Hang on, what's this? We really need to make a headlamp. And the fact that my character knows how to make one because of fabrication, we probably want to make a headlamp. 
Let's make that. Let's get that done. Okay. Headlamp's good. Don't believe it has any batteries. But there we go. We filled it up. Now we got a headlamp that works. Uh, God, the crafting and honestly, of all the stuff in Cataclysm that still gets me every time, the amount of shit you can make in Cataclysm and the way it all works and the way it all meshes together is still wild to me. Like the fact that you can like fucking go into the fucking crafting thing and disassemble an item and pull out parts from it as well. It's both a blessing and a curse. See, usually whenever it says I'm missing something though, it's kind of fun because it's like, okay, I might be missing one item, but I know within one of my many worthless fucking items I own, there is the thing I need. I just need to take it out of something else. And they also added practice now, which is cool, which means Evan could spend an hour right now doing some push-ups. Keep doing it. Evan, keep doing push-ups. You keep pumping. All right. Athletics has gone up to two. Keep working out. This is how you get that fucking pump going. I'm, I'm feeling itchy. There's bugs all over me. Okay. I, I want to get moving because I'm scared of the huge man. I know I'm scared of the huge man. I can say all I want that I'm not scared of the huge man, but I know I'm scared of the huge man. And I'm not sure I can outrun the huge man. Hello? Chad, if the huge man is down there, there's only one thing we could do right now. And that's jump off the fucking roof out the window in the back and run as fast as I can out of here into the woods. If it's the huge man. Grab everything off the table. Fill up. And Evan. 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 Evan, focus up for a second. Focus up. Pay attention. Okay, this is important. I need you to make your jeans into another backpack. <laughs> I need you to make your jeans into another backpack and put it on. You'll thank me later. We need more volume space. Make your... Take off your pants, Evan. Now. Then grab the sandwich. Grab the sandwich, Evan. What was in the applied meteorology book? He's downstairs wrecking the library. Shocking lash. And wind running. We already have the scroll for wind running. We don't care about shocking lash. Can I fit a pressure cooker in my... No, of fucking course he can't. I want to peek, but I know if I open that fucking door, he's going to see that I went up here. And he might even slam through the door. Just a little peek. He might just instantly kill me if I do that, Chad. If it's him. Equip the Staff of Magic Missile. Greater.
That's real. Whatever that thing is, it's real. It's on the other side of the door. It's 6.30 p.m. It's unprofessional to show up at someone's house right now. It's... It's just a normal zombie. <laughs> it's been a normal zombie the whole time. It's a, it's a zombie in a... in a beautiful suit. Couple of them. Get blasted with a magic missile for 30 damage, you fucking assholes. Get the fuck out of here. Get at get the fuck out of here. Chad, we need to start doing the smart thing. I need to get onto the street. Cause I need to look through these cars to see if any of them work. While we still have like charge. Okay, those two are by that lake over there. Now, do I see anything on that SWAT zombie? No, I can't see any items. Okay, that car looks like it's working. This car might- these- all these cars are in functional, like, mechanical condition. Any one of them could work. We need a car. We- at this point, we need a working car. We have to get one before a huge man actually finds us. How many charges do I still have with this? 16. I'll let this zombie come to us. I'm gonna blast it too. And I'm gonna do the same to the SWAT zombie. We have another one of these things. I don't even think the SWAT zombie can actually see us. Okay, well, no one's closing the gap right now. Bottle jack, lug, lug wrench. Okay, we actually need that wrench. Is this a broken door? Oh my god. Fucking door's broken. This car doesn't have enough wheels to move. Alright, that one's not anything we can use. We have a screwdriver. And we have a wrench, though. Which means that we can... Uh, remove batteries. We can we can extract hardware to make another car work. We can't do much about wheels though, because adding a wheel that's not there. Yeah, it's got all of its wheels are gone. Yeah, every one of its wheels is broken. Yeah, this one's no dice. All right, next is the next is this one. I have to get rid of this fucking huge zombie. Not to be confused with the huge man. Ten more charges on this. Fuck. Controls are broken. Can't fit it. Yeah, controls are broken. Someone fucking smashed up the wheel of this fucking thing. Uh, how hard would it be to repair it? Oh no, it's just fucking gone. Oh wait, no, I was looking at the wrong thing. Oh yeah, 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 we can repair this. We just need, a uh, we just need welding goggles and acetylene torch. And, um, you know. Another whole pair of vehicle controls and some welding rods. Right on, that's easy. What about this card? Joint roach. Yo! Yo! Yo, dude, hippie van! 
I think the engine on this one is broken. Oh yeah, the battery is broken completely. Try to see if I can find the engine. I don't know why my brain always glosses over where the engine is in these games. Car battery, it's just the battery. It, unless I'm missing something. Wheel working, wheel working. Fuck! Tank is fucked. We're gonna fucking die out here, Chet! That huge man is gonna find us, he's gonna fucking break us in half! We don't stand a chance. No point staying here. He's there. Look, here's what I'm gonna do. Time to do some time to do some last minute setup stuff that has to get done. It's gotta get done. Uh do I see a sticker out? <laughs> Thanks, man. We're gonna need this. Specifically, I need to make a makeshift crowbar. Drop this stick now. I thought I just told it to drop it. Drop the stick now. Oh, you can't drop stuff on Windows, I forgot. Drop the stick. What do I need to make this properly? Uh, I have the pipe. Is it because I'm in darkness? Oh, I can't hold it, that's why, because I have no space. Hang on. I grip the pipe, go back here. Yeah, it's because I... It's because I think I'm missing the space. So if I get to a table, it should Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Crowbar. I think the issue is that my game is saying I have the mechanic, I have the thing I need to hammer, but the thing I need to hammer, the thing I need to hammer is the thing I currently am holding to hammer it. Is actually what the problem is. Is I, it, I have the hammer tool, but it's also the thing I'm wielding, so I need another pipe. Which is fine, there's some more shelves over here. So with that last pipe, I will wield this pipe so I can smash these pipes so I can... Actually, wait, this is made out of wood. Well, I'll just go outside and grab a rock. <laughs> fine! I'll go outside, I'll do it my way. Actually, let me check something. Right on. I'm tempted to grab this 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 brazier and drop some stuff and grab it. Because this is a this is a mobile cooking thing. I can that's right. Why is he not letting me dismantle this? Is it actually a construction? Uh? Oh, I interact with it. I forgot you don't like activate it. What the fuck is this UI Christ? The UI in Cataclysm is actually extremely readable. <laughs> I think you're just intimidated by text. The UI pretty much tells you everything you ever need to know about the entire game. Uh... How much volume is a fucking one of these things? Hang on. Because I really want this. I know it's very easy to make one. 2.5 liters. I can make 2.5 liters of space. Unless it's one of those situations where it's just too wide. 
But I can tell you, I don't need a. Uh, I don't really need the soap. Give me a little bit. We're just gonna ditch a bunch of random crap. Eat the sauerkraut. Wait, why do I have a bunch of rum? Ditch that. That's a lot of it. Oh yeah, it just doesn't fit in anything. Okay, well, I'm still not gonna carry around a bunch of rum. Uh, let's go grab a rock. It'd be really scary if I just crested one of these hills and then I saw a huge man. Safe mode on. Who is this? Something killed him. Okay, well, he's almost dead. I bet I can kill him with a fucking crossbow bolt. Oh, yeah, 50 bucks I can kill this guy at crossbow range. That's one hit. I didn't actually pack any of the other bolts because I didn't want to use this thing anymore. Oh, wait, yes, I do. I'm just an idiot. Okay, apparently he's easily able to close that gap. Fuck you, dude. God, he poked me. He did a whole two damage to my arm. I am now reloading. My guy's the slowest motherfucker ever. Fine, dude. Fine, you got me. I activate the fucking wand of magic missile. You asshole. I can hate crossbows. Truly hate crossbows. Matter of fact, no, don't ditch it yet. It's our only weapon. Don't do it yet, even though you wanna. But I do hate crossbows. Have a rock. Somewhere in these woods is a rock that I can use as a hammering implement. Using my survival powers, I will extract this division sign and eat it to sustain myself in these trying times. Yes. See, I'm just trying to think of ways that I can guarantee the huge man will never find me. And one of them is to go into that, what the heck? Acorns? Dude! Bro! <laughs> Don't eat that. <laughs> That'll ruin my guy's whole day. Bro, fucking acorns! We can survive now. You know, it's always one of those things where, am I just gonna have to go south until I get to the fucking field and grab a rock there? The way that, I left the pipe, didn't I? Cause I thought it'd be an easy thing. I fucking hate, dude, I hate that my brain can't be in five places at the same time. I just grab a rock out of you, can I? Of course not. Now, you know, it'd be really funny if the huge man showed up right now as I'm leaving this forest. It'd be really funny. I fucking dare this guy to come in. I fucking dare this alien creature of uncertain origin and dubious intentions. Okay. It's, I dare this shapeless pink creature with numerous sets of paired fucking appendages of unknown function and ribbed membranous wings, which seem quite useless. I dare this fucking thing to square up. While I'm holding the fucking staff with nine charges. What is this? There's a man living in this house, and I know it from a mile away. Evan knows this person. He's lived his entire life in the city, and he knows that in the hunting lodge outside of town lives a strange man named Glooscap. 
the hunter. Classic Gluskap. Why don't you me go away? True. True. You think I can be friends with Gluskap? Because I'd love to have a friend today. Gluskap! Gluskap! Gluskap, man! Man, Gluskap! He's ignoring me. Gluskap, man! Man! Man, bro, man! Gluskap! Your windows are very quiet. Gluskap! It's decided that I will be Gluskap. Who will you be? Like the Abenaki myth? I, I cannot be this big of a fucking dweeb. I, can I cannot be this much of a fucking dweeb. Ah, uh, yes. Like the Abenaki myth, of course. You know the real people's stories? Yes, I like that a lot. Yes, I'm a very smart survivor of the apocalypse, Gluescap. Anyway, I need to move along. Later, Gluescap. Cool, cool. So, so you like myths and stuff? And stuff, sure. How can I help you, stranger? Let's say I'm the nice one. See this smile? Nice smile, right? Let's check his opinion of me. He does not care about me. Okay. Uh, you seem cool. Anyways, Gluescap. Um, I'm gonna ask him another question. They say I turned a man into a cedar tree once. That's a terrible thing to say. So you're dressed like a hunter. Are you a hunter? Among other things, sure. I have some extra I might be willing to trade, but I only trade with my friends, and I don't have a lot of those left. Gluescap, I'm about to lure Amigo into your base to kill you. What say you to that? Am I allowed to help myself to his base? Or do you guys think he's like, <gasps> beep, 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 beep. Huge opportunity here, chat, to get something good and important to the team. If you deconstruct a- God damn it. He bolt turning. If we can deconstruct a fire extinguisher, we can get a hose. And a hose is really important because it lets us siphon gas. Uh, so that's a really important thing. You can also technically get them from fridges, I think. But I'm gonna reckon this guy probably the hell's in this room. My unbridled curiosity. Hey, Migo! Who those? A raincoat. I'm glad Gluescap does not care. No. Gluescap, are you good? a bunch of crap I things to do with milk the book of mormon scroll of necrotic gaze alchemist handbook there's only one book I really care about finding and I know that because I want it I won't get it what is this it's like a motel it's like a true on it's a true lodge chat it's a true lot. And it leaves me confident that um, it cannot protect me from the huge man. But there's a lot of stuff here. We could make a home for ourselves here. If only the huge man would stay away. And if only I hadn't shattered every window in the building earlier. Giant tub. It's This place is fully occupied by gnomes. 
Yo! Yo, dude! This guy's got a fucking crazy fucking pile of drugs on the second floor. Oxycodones, antidepressants, codeine. I may have to help myself to some of these. Numbs. Bandana. Anything on the roof? A bunch of whiskey and an orb. Oh no, that's just a disc. Not to be confused with an orb. All right, well, look, here's the thing, man. I'm just, I just came here so I could, I gotta get in here. Good news is it shouldn't be very hard. Wait. Blue scap? Why is there a crypt underneath your base? Nah, 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 nah. We don't trust like that. I'm gonna break this window. We have to kill Blue scap and carve our way into this room because this is like a fucking prepper's room. Food. All right, I'm going down here. <laughs> See, people have been saying he doesn't know, but I don't think you know. All right. Okay, hang on. I want to. Oh, I'm in caps lock. That's why. Blue scap. Scroll of summon zombie. You know what's good? All those zombies can distract the huge man. But we both know that there's a secret door behind this, so let's just. Oh! Glue scap, do you think me a fool? Are you. Do you really believe, Glue scap, for a fucking moment that the Int 11 guy. Wouldn't know that there's a secret behind this fucking completely undecorated bookshelf? The question is, what are you hiding? We're gonna die down here, dude. We're never gonna see Huge Man. There is no chance in a million years that Huge Man will be what kills us. Did Glue Scap hear me and start coming down here? I gotta close this door. Remember, it's not, it's a get, it doesn't count if I die because I step out of landmine. What is happening down here? It might just be a sauna. It's just a sauna, chat. Everyone calm down. Everyone just calm the hell down. It's not an altar. It's Glue Scrap's secret sauna. Okay? There's nothing evil about a sauna. It's full of charcoal in a bucket. He's just shy. It's just his secret gaming room where he plays... I guess Warhammer, sorry, Battle Hammer 20K. Not sure why he was hiding this. I'm gonna check every single wall in this place now for a secret door, hang on. I know this looks stupid, but they've done secret doors in this game before. I don't trust anything in this room. I'm gonna rummage along every wall. Checking all of it. 
If any of it's a fucking... If there's anything... Off. I'll find it. <laughs> Shit out of me. I don't like that beeping. I'd like to check to see if that was my side. Okay, glue scap. So far, stuff seems on the up and up. But I don't fucking trust it yet. I'm gonna check the entire thing. Okay. Yeah, no, Loose Cap is just secretly a uh, gamer. Okay. Yeah. Shame this place doesn't have indoor lighting. Looks like the sun's finally starting to set. Chat, there's only one thing we could use the huge man for right now, and it's punching through this wall. I don't want to live here any longer. I want to go back and get my pipe. Kind of want to get rid of that Migo. Because it's going to end up fucking me later. I'm pretty sure magic cuts through armor completely. Meaning, if I hit him with magic missile, I should just flat out kill him. Uh, I should flat out kill him with magic missile. Should. And if not, then... You know, that's a sad way to end. Hey! Hey, Bozo! Also, follow me, because I, I want Gluescop to help. If I can save charges, that'd be cool. Don't like the peeping. Hey, get magic missile! Oh yeah, it takes 30 damage. Yeah, I won't need glue scap. Just gotta make sure he gets close enough so he can't run away. Where you going? Alright, Migo's gone. Uh, two more charges on that one. I'm gonna switch to the other one. No idea what level this magic missile is. But, okay, so here's the rules when it comes to fast traveling. Same rules as mines. If a fast travel thing kills me because it runs me into something, I'm allowed to reload. Uh, I use it sometimes for stuff like this because it's a pain in the ass to do stuff like navigate the woods. I'm actually not going to do it right here because it's telling me to go down a road. But um, pretty much anything where there's automation involved, uh, we also do not count the events because the game can sometimes just be like, oh, hey, I wa I'm... I fucking hate you, and I'll kill you for it. So, we'll just walk. If you don't play like Tomato Plays, you will one day destroy your hands playing this for long periods. I take advantage of all the automation systems in this game that it gives me, fully well knowing that it'll break down at a moment's notice. Uh, and ruin my day. Uh, I accept that even though Cataclysm is made to be permadeath, sometimes you have to bend the rules. Owl bear, Don't fucking say that. Keep that goddamn beast's name, okay, out of your mouth. Don't want to think about him. Gotta use protection. Just in case. Let's be responsible. You never know. Maybe Gluescop and I hit it off. Wait, which room was it that I had the pipe? Where did I leave my pipe? It was on a table. It's right here. In the woods. I am going to lose my... Oh, I, I remember now. I left it like... Right near here. Mm. 
right near here. Mm. The fool already lost the pipe. Everyone laugh at him. Laugh with me. Laugh with me. He'll never make the crowbar. He's going to die out here. At any minute now, the sun will set and his chances of finding it will be or not. <gasps> we officially have the makeshift crowbar. Time to activate plan Omega Bozo. I go to the mysterious manhole in the middle of the woods. I open it. And I quick save my game. Hello? Whose blood is this? Hello? Yeah, we just don't like that. <laughs> we, just, we, just, we just don't like that. We just, we just don't like that. We close those. <laughs> We know uh, we don't like that. We don't like that. We close those. Uh, we we where's the manhole cover? <laughs> Some kind of thing was down there. Some kind of thing was in that hole. You've released them. Not my problem as of today. I really need more backpack space, dude. All right, chat. My character, I gotta blow my nose, hang on. Okay, I'm better, I'm better. My time on this earth is coming to an end. Is that a Migo structure on the outskirts of town? That sucks. My best bet is still to find a car but everything sucks. What I need to do right now, is I'm gonna follow this path. I wanna secure this woodland trail. I'm also gonna drop some stuff. I don't necessarily know. Hang on, let me wield this for a second. I don't necessarily know how to reload this. I reloaded it. I, I, it's crystallized mana, you fool. How much more of that do I have? I fucking dare. All right, I, I, huge man better pray to God. All right, he better pray to God that he doesn't fucking run into me because I have 50 more charges of greater magic missile in the belt. All right, he better pray to God. All right, because I, 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 I'm done worrying about things. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to be honest. Uh, not even God could help me. If he gets to me, no amount of magic missile is going to save me. Can I unload the other one? Bro, hold up. Hold up. Unload this one, too. and then drop the stabs that are now inert. You only want the greater one. Grab, I cannot believe a fucking staff can, f a full fucking wooden shaft can fit inside of my bags, but one makeshift pipe can't. One little bent pipe doesn't fit in there. The greatest fucking staff known to mankind can fit in my pocket. But one pipe, no, no. So what was this place? Access shaft into a central lab. 
Yeah, just, you know, just, just the lab. Just the central lab. The big lab. The largest lab in the land. I, you see, I was hoping there'd be a, an access shaft that would ha open up into, like, a big shaft. Because those sometimes exist, and they're, like, 500-story falls. And I was hoping I could lure Huge Man to come into the hole with me. At which point, I would use my magical force to shove him into the hole and kill him. It was what I was planning. But that didn't pan out. We still don't even know if he's real, is the thing. Hang on, there's actually something I do want to do. I cannot believe I have to do this. I have space for it now, chat, because I equipped another sling. My character is mostly like, he looks like a fucking pile of backpacks with legs. I'm, I'm playing Clarent right now. I'm in Clarent mode. I'm 100% I'm encumbrance. Thankfully, you don't need to be unencumbered to shoot magic missiles. I'm Death Stranding. I'm going into the basement down here. I want to see what's down there. Well, well, well. A magical wizard's basement of hell. This was a good thing to check. Well, well, well. This is exactly... Well, 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 if it isn't the Garden Gnome. Well, 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 if it isn't Ignis Fatus. This is, of course, one of the strongest spells in the game. It summons Ghostly Foxfire, works from living marsh vapor to lead your enemies astray. With more experience, this spell can conjure multiple ghost lights, which, of course, would help us with fooling the huge man into not attacking us. Over here we have the Journal of the Ice King, which of course trains you how to use Hori Ball and slide on ice. I'd like to see the huge man catch me once I cast Ice Skate and skate down the street. Grab Journal of the Ice King. Oh! <gasps> We won. We won the game. We won the game. We just won the game. Blaster Caster of the Magic Master is the strongest spellbook in the game. Uh, while I was using this mod pack in testing, I found this book. And while it sounds stupid, it contains in it the best two spells uh, for early game magic that allow you to truly bully pretty much everyone. Let me show you. Within it is Baleful Sight, which is just mid. But it contains Eldritch Blast. You're quite certain you saw this in a game somewhere. A crackling beam of energy strikes towards your foes. At level zero, it does 10 damage already. It only costs five mana, of which I have 2,300. And it blasts out in six seconds. Or like six cast time. Well, 100 cast time, which I believe is one turn. Uh, which means uh, you're basically sitting on what is a more reliable version of a bow. I'll take everyone I can get, chat. Yeah, it's strong. Yeah, it's strong. Uh, but I don't know if you saw when I went down a manhole, God was down there. God was down in a manhole. A, an old God from hell, two of them, were in a, like a fucking lab in the back of my yard. So yeah, no, nah, Evan is going to take advantage of Eldritch power. Even if it, even if it seems a little OP. And yes, I will also point out that the other spell in here is also crazy. Necrotic Fireball is only difficulty four, and it's a massive AOE fireball for 24 damage at base level. Yes, I will be taking this book. 
And I'll also read what the natural world... It doesn't matter if Huge Man kills us before we can finish reading it, though, chat. Remember that. None of this matters if we can't... If we don't ever get to learn it. You know what I mean? Like, any minute now, Huge Man could walk down these stairs, grab me by the head like I did that child in Skyrim, and simply throw me through the ceiling. Okay. It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily matter. <laughs> Alchemist in you, material, materials in you. Materials in you is everywhere. I don't know what's up with like, that's one thing I did notice with my mod pack. I think somehow almost the most, like somehow, the most common book in the game is materials in you, which is helpful. If you have a fabrication of four, it gets you to eight pretty much instantly. But, uh... I don't need it, because it's everywhere. I also don't need Alchemist Handbook. Woo! Wall of Fog, dude! You know, if you're trying to avoid a huge man, you gotta get the Wall of Fog! It might change the whole game, dude! Oh, look at that. Materials in you. Oh, look at that. Materials in you. What does this graffiti say? A circle of esoteric symbols etched into the metal wall. They draw your eye with their otherworldly shapes. I believe there's a monster behind one of these walls. Nope. Detergent. And a monster. Yeah, there was a gnome. What's this full of? Clean water. I will drink some. 89 uses of it. Her shuffling. Is it because there's another secret door? It depends. Do I hear shuffling twice? We... Hello? Is there a huge man? An old photo. Of better times. Take a look. A photo of a jovial old wizard. He seems to be dancing with a coat rack in his basement. There's a stack of suitcases in the background. A poor old bag. He had no idea that. In fact, a phone book was not a magical tome. He had magical books behind him all along, but he only studied the phone book. I'll take his hit flask and I'll load it with water, please. Uh, one second. Uh, dispense into a container. <laughs> this is why we carry around seven gallon-sized zip Ziploc bags. Bro, all right, hang on. We've been sleeping on condoms. Because <laughs> that gallon-sized zipper bag doesn't seem as impressive versus what apparently my condom can hold, which is almost four liters of hydration. Yeah, load it up. <laughs> Imagine walking down the street and you see someone pull out a tube of water and put it to their mouth and you find out they're drinking out of a giant engorged condom. It's compact. It's compact squeezed. Just keeping it, I'm just keeping it compact, bro. You know? Keeping it compact. <laughs> That's awful. That might be the worst thing I've ever thought of in my life. Just keeping it dense. This is the densest form of fucking liquid storage I have, bro. Is there a coat rack in here? I'll be taking all of this, you stupid sentient coat rack. Yeah. It's a sling pack. And a dive bag. Yeah, I'll take it. I was gonna wear this. I think now I can finally, at last, drop the slings. Well, this sling. And put the crowbar back in my inventory. 
My encumbrance is still crazy, but at least I'm not also wearing this stupid sling. I still need to like chat. I just, I'm always going to be encumbered on the chest, dude. Good news is magic doesn't care about encumbrance very much. There's still a wizard. What is that? Hello? Chan, do you know why that's happening? I Man, I know there's an invisible room here. I know there is a room, but I if it's not a, if it doesn't open with a normal smack not getting into it but yeah i do know that there's a obviously a thing here but um if it requires me to cast some kind of magic i'm not getting in right now make the noise again northwest no it's in here it's just it's not it's not opening man Not opening, man. Unless. Well, look, there's nothing here, Chad, other than this deck of sorcery cards. Look, it's getting late. Let's. Get the, f the fuck out of here, all right? Because I, I don't want to... I'm going to grab the... I have enough space now to carry all this stuff together. We're going to pack up my, 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 my fire thing. We're going to go. I'm going to go. Okay. We're get, we... Hang on, I'm in fucking caps again. We are going to go back to... The hunting lodge. We're going to go to the hunting lodge and we're going to sleep there with the gnomes for the evening. If we even can sleep. If we can't sleep, instead we'll just try to read some of that book. We gotta learn Eldritch Blast. Or it's too late. We'll go to the woods. Maybe I could take another... Maybe we just take one more peek in that hole. Maybe... Maybe that was just in our head, chat. Maybe there's not really any... There's no such thing as a... Shock off. Right? There's... Shock offs aren't real. They're not real. A moose is real. God knows moose is real. Moose Jam been real the whole time. They're half dead, and that just makes them angrier. I'd kill them if I actually had the stomach to cut them up and kill them and eat them. But I'm actually just not hungry. I'm just gonna go. Sun setting. Wow, that moose killed a lot of people. The fuck is that? Manure. It shit all over the place and then killed two people. I mean, sounds good. Eventually it'll just die because it's not going to move far enough away from those bodies. It'll just keep getting up infinitely. We're going to go rest at the lodge and study up. Hey, man. Just so you know, Glue Scap, there's a chance I might be cursed okay I'm letting you know 
Just because you even have atomic nightlight, you ha. It's funny that you think that I have an atomic nightlight. No, no, no. I have an atomic coffee maker. It, it does not stay lit forever. It, it, it's an atomic coffee maker. I don't have an atomic light. I wish I had an atomic light. That would make everything so easy. Now we have an atomic coffee maker. Okay, chat. There's only one place I feel safe sleeping tonight. No, no, no. Fuck, where do I sleep? I wish this was fucking doors. There's no doors on this second floor, but I don't want to sleep in the basement. Because there's only... Because, Jet, the thing is, I feel more comfortable on the second floor because if he is here when I wake up, or when the night is over, I have, like, 18 different spots to escape. And two separate stairwells. Okay. You're right. I don't think doors will stop him either. Do I have a blankie? No, I gotta go get one. We're gonna sleep next to this gnome on the sofa. And we're gonna pray to God we don't see anything suspicious. I want a pillow. Okay, there's no blankets on any of these beds. Let's take these. I'll just take a, a sheet from this. I pray to God that huge man stays away. I'm not going to sleep yet, that'd be foolish. What I'm gonna do is deconstruct this guy's property and use all the wood that I get from it. I, honestly, just everything I got from it. I'm gonna put it in this fucking fire. I'm gonna start it. <laughs> I'm gonna start it. Okay. I'm gonna deconstruct all this stuff. Okay. I'm gonna throw more logs into the fire. Label this as a firewood source. Try to learn Eldritch Blast. No, I'm getting warm. Unless I see, like, a significant amount of health loss from it, I don't move. Okay. We learned it. We got it. Didn't actually take that long. Okay. So I'm gonna set this to... Oh, I learned how to summon an owl bear cub! Yo! Hang on. I gotta get rid of gloves now. I think I'm wearing gloves right now. Uh, where? Sling pack... Sleeveless game watch. No, game watch isn't the problem. Boxer shorts, leather backpack. Do I have a glove on? No. Oh, I just have something in my hand. Yeah. So now if I tried to cast it, it wouldn't say impeded. It still says I'm impeded. Is it because of my insane amount of encumbrance? Is it officially because of that? Scarf? Hang on. It is the scarf. Nope. No, no. I have something else still covering my mouth. I don't think it's the encumbrance on my character's body. There's nothing in my hands either. I could get naked to test. It's not the game watch, is it? No. I need this to be down. Ah, uh, fine. Check with this. Head. Cotton hat. There's nothing on my hands. I have a hat. I 
It might be because I'm sad. But uh, I got other stuff I can drop to test. How about now? Oh, still impeded. Is it truly my encumbrance? Let's drop a backpack next. Nope. Well, that lowered it a little bit. I need to figure this out because, uh, obviously, obviously, I'm going to need this working. 108. It's still 108. The failure chance is going down. Wonder if you need something to cast with. Objectively, no. I've used this for a character. I'm just not sure why it's labeled as it taking so long. Might be because I'm wet. Maybe. Well, there's definitely stuff I don't need anymore. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna inventory manage anyways because I don't want the I don't want that makeshift knapsack anymore. Uh, we want the leather backpack. But the makeshift knapsack, I really don't care about. Nor do I really need the minor wand. I just want the leather belt off of them. Whoa. Sorry, press the start button. Wand. Don't need it. You can re-equip the gamer watch. Let's drop anything that's poor fit. If there's anything that's poor fit. Hey, Brett. What's up, man? Hey, man. Chad, I timed out. I had Brett timed out last stream for fucking pulling some bullshit. And he ended up getting the last laugh because, um... I had to go all the way back into my, like, fucking account settings to set him back as an editor for the channel. It sucked. And I died. God damn it. It's rough. I, I want it. All right. Hang on. I'm going to quick save. And we're going to do the only reasonable thing to confirm if this is an emotional problem my character's dealing with right now. Or a physical one. Strip down naked. Okay, to be fair, the casting time was only lowered to, like, it was only added to 8. But, uh, but all back on now. In a reasonable order. Briefs. First. Briefs do not in, in, in interact with my ability to work and function. Socks. Briefs and socks. Then, pant Undershirt. Okay. There's a bunch of extra clothes here because of the fact that um, I dragged them over. It's kind of annoying. Uh, then, hat. Still good. Okay. Then, skip the polo. We don't need it. Boxer short? No, we don't need boxer shorts. We're wearing briefs. Denim shorts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game watch. How we doing? Still not impeded. We're wearing shorts right now. Uh, sleeveless trench coat. Not. Okay, the sleeveless trench coat, in fact, impedes us. But not by enough for me to care. Now we know. Yeah. Well, it's not by enough for me to care. Because it's only eight more to a hundred. It's like a 10% extra slow. I put back on my whole big pile of garbage. Okay, this the, the raincoat. Adding the raincoat on top definitely messed it up a little. 
So we're just going to grab the stuff out of it. Because we definitely don't need all of it. Yeah, okay, so the coats definitely add more. Those those slow you down. Coats slow you down. Now we know. Uh, the huge man still has not closed the gap. Uh, is there anything on the ground that I'd care about if I just left it? You know, I can take the scarf back. Put that back on, because that actually does not slow down my move. Cool. Uh... I'm going to try to squeeze in more of this book until my character's dying or he shows his face. I'm going to try to learn more Eldritch Blast. Have we seen Huge Man yet? Thankfully, no. The guy's getting hungry, but that's okay. Usually I eat all at once like a disgusting animal, which is super unhealthy. My guy's still not sleepy either. He might stay up the whole night. Okay, now he's sleepy. But do I know how to sleep? Well, we got a lot of research in uh, doing that. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna... I don't have any water, but what I do own is plenty of still fresh, delicious, chocolate drink which will feed and sustain me with calories I'm going to extinguish the fire I'm going to place a beautiful sheet on the, the ground right here and I am going to try to sleep for six hours I don't think I'm going to pull it off. I'll give it like another hour. He, I'm still not sleeping. I've got that insomnia. <laughs> I've got that insomnia. Uh, which is why it's so much harder. But either way, I'm not doing anything else tonight because, uh, you know, I just don't want to. We're going to wait until 4 because that's when the sun starts to come up. What's that so? I'm going to go to the bathroom. Uh, I'll be back. I'll be back in a minute. Yes. Evan awakens from his first night in hell. Evan awakens from his first night in hell. Without having slept a wink, the sun is barely rising. And he hears a sound downstairs. But he sees nothing. How long is it until sunrise? It's already begun. Evan bids farewell to Glooscap. Psych, he says. LOL. Glooscap seems confused. Evan goes back upstairs. 
he gets on the roof and he starts reading more blaster caster of the magic master because there's not a single way he's leaving without learning a level of blaster caster of the magic master Because even simply one level changes the failure rate from 44 to 30%. And now it does 15 damage per hit. At 5 mana. At a range of 5 blocks. That's more reliable than a fucking crossbow. And it can't miss. Evan is starting to feel a little hungry. So he cracks open a delicious room temperature glass of old milk and he downs it for the calories he's getting a little chilly though so he closes he closes the blinds and he gets back to reading another chapter of blaster caster of the magic master that was my psychosis no that wasn't a real explosion that was Calyptic Psychosis. That wasn't a huge... West and below? Look out the window, I don't see anything. Yo, Kluska! You see a huge man? You can let me know. I'm gonna stand right here so there's a bunch of fucking stuff he has to crawl over if he comes in this way. I'm gonna keep reading Blaster Caster of the Magic Master. Chad, I know it, like, my alarm's going off. Stop studying. No. You hear Gluskov say, what is that? I'm ignoring my alarm. I'm just gonna keep reading. I gain another level of Eldritch Blast. Now, the failure rate is 23%. Are you starting to see what's happening? And now, Eldritch Blast does 20 biological damage a hit. You can go to a maximum of 30 which is more than a crossbow bolt. Two more levels of this, and we'll be at a point where it basically can't fail. And then, and then, it might not be able to kill a huge man, but use your head. Think about how much damage it could do to a normal zombie. When it's doing 30 biological damage, a hit is doing as much damage as the magic missile lower range but doing as much damage as magic missile and the thing is it costs five mana i have 2300 i am playing a warlock from D, &D. as in i have one good move and it's magic missile and people might say it's overpowered but then i get to say my guy that's my one good move and they say well you have spells i say my guy i have Two spells. I have two other spells. Storm Shape of Rune is not a spell. I took two other spells on my Warlock character. It was Summon Owlbear Cub, which has only come up once in RP, and Wind Running, which, by the way, I have low constitution. I drop concentration instantly if anyone even touches me. So that's not on the table either. And then I, I get really mad. I'm gonna finish this level. Evan asked, why would you do that? Shut up, Evan. You feel a little strange. You start shaking uncontrollably. A snatcher zombie appears. Ah, uh, you know, a writhing corpse with an unnervingly sly and cautious nature. Its pair of menacingly black eyes greedily seek the living with a predominant set of four protruding fangs. These inhumane teeth furiously gnash away while idle, creating a maddening and repetitive clacking sound. How'd you get there? 
Oh, wait. I know why. Don't abandon the character. I know why. It's because I'm objectively hallucinating for the next minute. If there's one thing I know right now, it's that I don't believe Huge Man exists in this world. Hey, you gotta get the fuck out of here. Go away. I use Eldritch Blast upon you. He's running from me. I'm gonna get back to reading. I, I just don't have time. I, ju I just don't have time. Flesh spotted. Dude, I gotta get to a doctor. I gotta get to the doctor. That's not right. I don't care how bad my calyptic insomnia psychosis is. That is some fucked shit. A gargantuan lump of meat pulsating in faint velvety hue. Several veins protrude from the body that unifies with the surrounding walls. Yo, Gluskop! Gluskop, bro! Uh... You got some weird stuff on the second floor. Don't know what's going on at the second floor. You got some weird stuff. How much longer am I going to be hallucinating for? My arms are itchy. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep reading, dude. You, if you're gonna kill me, just kill me. Alright, I'm reading. You're not real, and I'll prove it by blasting you with Eldritch Might. Okay, I can't target him, so he's not real, baby. I keep reading. I'm not stopping unless I see a huge creature appear next. I'm just not gonna stop. Ignore. Ow! It wasn't real. It hit me, but it wasn't real damage. Don't worry. Shadow spotted. Ignore. I believe a ra a horrible prototype robot attacked me. I'm gonna have to take my psychosis drugs, aren't I? I am losing it. Next thing I, I swear to God, you know, the only thing that really makes any of this bearable is the fact that huge man isn't real and can't hurt me. All right, I guess I'll take my antipsychotic medication. I guess I'll take my medicine. Whatever. Where's my medicine? Oh, there it is. But before I do that, all right, I'm gonna eat my old fish and chips that I've been saving for the last week. These are worth 700 calories a pop. I'm gonna bulk. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bulk some I'm gonna get some, do I have any multivitamins? I gotta get some iron in my diet. I don't I have a lot of calcium, no iron. I get some calcium in there. Uh, okay. I'm gonna take my antipsychotics because I'm experiencing some horrible symptoms of psychosis. It's time to finish my reading. Eldritch Blast, level three. 17% chance to fail. 25 biological damage. We level it up one more time. Also, we have another thing called Spring Healed Leap that we can learn from a tarot card. That's pretty good. Force pushes your feet off the ground and launches you several meters. I wonder if I can kill myself with that. I swear to God, if Huge Man fucking shows his face around me now. Did Gluescap just... What was that, Gluescap? Hey, accomplished move, it's a relentless hulk. Northwest danger close. Northwest. A 
It's been a pleasure, Glue Scap! It really has! <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, it's better you than me! Did I miss it? I didn't even look, motherfucker. I didn't even look. And you know what? Until he gets me, I'm not gonna look. All I heard was screaming. All I heard was some shattering glass, some smashing, and then Glooscop yelled, holy shit, it's him. It's the huge man. Help me. And then I ran. And I'm gonna keep running, okay, until I don't see any danger anymore. Go, Owlbear! Stop them! <laughs> Go, my son! Protect me! <laughs> Even spiderlings, we ignore those. Those aren't a problem. All right, so... That town's finished. That town's finished, but there's a parking lot over there. Uh, this could be good. That's a mint condition. Fucking V8. RV. Solar powered. Chemistry station. Luxury. If this shit works, it's gonna, it's, people are going to say that I scripted this whole game. Octavio Rojas, super soldier. <laughs> help, help, the huge man, he's real, he's real guys. Guys, you'll never believe this. I'll see you guys later. Stir! <laughs> well, 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 would you look at that? Well, 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 would you look at that? This is a luxury RV. Hang on, I actually, I got time to pull this bad boy back into the parking lot. This is, let me show you around the crib. All right, cause we just got ourselves a luxury RV, baby. Let me show you around this thing. Back here, we have a goddamn full kitchen unit, full powered kitchen unit, one of the best in the game. Use this to cook whatever you want, whenever you want. Over here we have a mini fridge, keep all your food nice and cooled off. We have a washing machine, and we have a portable dishwasher. We have a table. And back here's where the magic happens. Four beds. And two storage holes full of various wrenches and wrench-based equipment. All right, back of the thing, we got multiple solar panels. Not all in mint condition, but it's gonna get the job done. I need to pull this thing away from here because the huge man is going to come straight through here and I'm going to try to get these super soldiers to kill him. This is how we win the game, okay? Is we plant, okay, we plant ourselves on the other side of this bunker and we get these bozos to kill the huge man for me. And if somehow they lose, we lose all hope. What if they can't though? That's what the that's why I'm leaving the RV uh over here. I'm not parking it on this side. I'm actually, believe it or not, what I'm going to do is park the RV uh, over here in a nice straightaway. 
Uh, going into an open field. Like this. There we go. I'm not about to leave my van in the direction of the huge man. What's this? Wow. Oh. I really was brave in just opening that. Hey, you're cool, right? We're cool. What's up, man? Welcome. Try not to cause any trouble and things will be just fine. Bro, can I stay here? Go ask Router. He's down below with the others. Okay. Thanks. I peer off into the distance. Huge man lost me. Let's maybe we check how 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 much firepower they have in the basement. I was so confused. I was so confused. It's just dark down here. It's just dark. Guys. Neighbors! Chad, these guys have ARC 314E1 laser rifles. I'm actually not gonna take Huge Man to this. I gotta kill him myself, guys. Like, th they will actually die. Huge Man will die to these guys. They're using ARC, they're using like the fucking Cata++ Plus Plus laser rifles. They Huge Man truly doesn't stand a chance because those things hit for about 90 to 100 damage a hit. As if you could defeat him yourself. We don't even know what he looks like. Okay. But it's good to have a friend. This would be... I don't want them to kill Huge Man for me. I want to kill Huge Man. Okay. But what I am willing to do is see if simply just Octavio Rojas can kill Huge Man. We'd save before I did it. But I want to see if just Octavio Rojas can kill Huge Man. Because I will peel, if he loses, I will peel his fucking armor off of his flesh. And I will take it. Because I will take whatever fucking chance I can get to get a W. We don't even know if Huge Man is real. The last time we saw Huge Man... That's a demon spider man, that's not Huge Man. We don't know if he's even out there. But if he was, he'd be somewhere between here and here. Wonder if he has CBMs? I'm like, I don't know why the fuck I'm just walking out in the middle of the field. Look, here's what we're gonna do. Okay. I am going to do the responsible thing. I'm gonna lure Rojas out here in a responsible and reasonable way. Did that scare him? Sometimes loud noises scare these guys, and they'll go outside to investigate it. Yeah, I don't know what caused that sound. Okay, so this is how we'll get him to come outside. Is we'll hit that fucking thing. I gotta pull my RV farther away. If Huge Man has any kind of crazy moves, uh, he, he's gonna fucking immediately bop us. And my beautiful RV. My beautiful mint condition luxury RV. Alright, let's just... All right, Chet, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to quick save because if this ends up backfiring, I'm going to reload because it shouldn't do it. I am going to just simply read some more of my book until Huge Man shows up. If we see him, we should stop reading. He might... Chat, what if we go back there and Glosskop fucking killed him? Because he's not coming. He's not here yet. Wait for a bit longer. Whoa. 
Oh my god. That thing is fucking huge. A relentless hulk. A hulking zombie swollen to the size of six men. Its inky black eyes are locked on you. No matter how far you run, it always seems to find you. Hit him with the van. That won't fucking kill him. Uh, this is a test. This is a test. If this doesn't work, so be it, but... Huge man! I know we've had our disagreements, but I think we both know you don't want any of what's in this bunker. Oh my god, he broke it. Hey, don't go out there. Huge man's not strong enough to punch through steel walls, motherfucker. He's just punching. Oh. Oh. He's not smart enough to fucking come in. He's just rubbing, he's rubbing up against the wall right now. Stop it, huge man! Oh, did he just... What just happened? Okay, well, whatever's happening. Who's winning? Octavio is currently winning. I'm gonna use this opportunity. To just squeeze out the door. Who's winning? Technically, it's Octavio. Go ahead and... You... Keep up the good work, man! It's a... Dr it's like even right now. I'm not gonna help him. Keep on keeping it real, Octavio! He, chat, to be clear, the Relentless Hulk is healing faster than Octavio can currently kill him. Octavio keeps dropping monomolecular blades on the ground. I think he's nervous. He activates his monomolecular blade. Yeah, yeah. He activates his monomolecular blade. Can I sneak in and grab a monomolecular blade for myself before Huge Man kills him? Objectively, yes. Ah! Ah! Guys, it's bad. It fucking absolutely fucking galaxy brain, you stupid fucking monster. You don't even know how to open doors, do you? Bozo. Yeah, you're their problem now, motherfucker. You're their problem now. Yeah, yeah, I just buried you in your fucking tomb. But I need fucking fuck, I need that guy's fucking stuff. He had 49 monomolecular blades. I am objectively faster than him on this character because I built for it. Okay, I'm gonna... You snack. Because I made these two deluxe sam... He can't punch through that wall. That's a... That's steel. All right, I'd have to be real strong. He's probably breaking it. I gotta let him out. Chill. Chill, please. He's just trashing the fucking place! Huge man! Stop! As you can see, he's technically faster than me. If he doesn't- if he climbs on the fences, he's not faster than me. I gotta get to the van and drive away and lure him away. Okay, full sprint. 
Full sprint into van, drive away. We gotta get the fuck out of here! Ugh. Did the RV's engine break? The battery's out. My dog is barking like mad. So it comes down to this then, huh? He's wrecking the RV. I'm a little faster. Currently, I'm a little faster. Is that another bunker? It's an abandoned bunker. I could trick him into that bunker and close the door. If there's not fucking turrets inside of it. Just need to build my stamina back. There's definitely turret. It's probably locked all the way. Here's what I'm thinking. Put myself between me and the bunker. Move away farther. He always knows where I am, to be clear. I think my best bet is to try to wind run and speed myself up. Oh, yeah. I don't like that. Is that a horrible eye that's now also after me? What is this? Ungulate mutant. A giant mutated test subject. Ah, it's not real. I'm just hallucinating. I think this might be it. But to be fair, I might reload back to the place simply because this was all a bit that I was testing. Because I don't really want to use that guy's stuff anyways, and I kind of did fucking put myself in this scenario because of that. I didn't plan on using it, so... I think we'll reset back to there and simply not use it. Because, uh... Yeah, that kind of did impact the entire direction we went. And cost us the battery on the, v, the RV, which then kind of sent us down a separate timeline. It didn't exist. The game crashed. Nah, dude. As far as I'm concerned with these runs, with Cataclysm at this point, I don't really play permadeath. I play to have the most fun experience with it. So... If that ain't your cup of tea, that's okay. But uh, yeah, I, I've played enough Cataclysm that I kind of choose ba the decision based off of what seems like it's gonna end with the most interesting thing. So I guess the RV just burned all that battery. So that's kind of weird. Okay, the game auto-saved right here, which is evil. So the guy's still dead, but he's locked inside the bunker. What did happen with this? Yeah, the battery just went out. Not much we can do about that. I mean, the RV's in mint condition aside from it. Uh, Chat, does anyone that knows this challenge know if he can let himself out eventually? We have solar. Yeah, I know we have solar, but uh, I believe there's something actually wrong with the battery. Yeah, it's draining because it's broken. So we need a new battery. I mean, it could break out for sure. Cool. He uses a wander spawn system. Perfect. Then we don't care. Uh, we'll come back for this RV when it's um, when it suits me. Yo, Glaska! <laughs> Glaska! Glaska, man! I got rid of that guy that attacked you. Are you alive? Glaska? Bro? What's up, my child? Is 
up, Wongus? This is my owl bear friend, Wongus. They just live out here. They're not. I don't take them with me. It's safer for them to not live with me. Yo, uh, Glasgow. <laughs> oh God, we can see act. <gasps> Did he at least punch through that fucking safe? Oh, damn it. Well. Two leather backpacks. <laughs> Dude, don't mind if I do, man. All right. Don't mind if I fucking do. I'll put those on right now. And the tool belt. I will wear everything. Can I also... Okay, you can't wear that many leather backpacks, which is a shame. Or is it because I'm wearing a third already? Leather backpack, leather backpack, sling pack. Dive bag? Is that technically... I'm not sure if one of these... Ah, oh, my fried fish went bad! Yeah, okay, I can't, I can't, I can't. I was gonna eat that! This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. I was going to finish that one day. Now I have to eat these young leaves and this other deluxe sandwich I made. Ah, fine, I'll ditch the fish. We lost a valuable ally. Fuck him, dude. Fuck him. Picking this item up would be considered stealing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. Because Glosscop is dead. I'm gonna take it. He's a dead body. All right. Chat, that thing with Glosscop isn't gonna work twice. I gotta find more bozos to hang out with that'll distract the guy from me. Okay. God, I really wish that fucking RV was working. It's not impossible to fix it. That's actually not a hard fix. And I kind of want to do it before he has a chance of despawning and respawning elsewhere. So I think I'm going to go up the road to the cars that we had. And see if I can get a new battery. Because they can just be removed with screwdrivers, which I believe I own. Screwdriver and a bolt. Well, we need a lug wrench. We need a wrench of some kind. And the wrench was in the RV. But that's an easy solution. Go back and just grab that. I remember I didn't grab the wrench because I thought I'd be taking it. Doesn't it have solar? The battery is broken. It's draining regardless of whether or not it has solar. As a result, the engine will not start. I, mean, I can sit there and hold the button to keep trying. Does he know I'm here right now? It seems like right now the Relentless Hulk has lost interest in hunting me. Did he break that fucking door down? Or can I lock him back in there again? Yeah, I can't. I actually can't fucking. He just. I better open that door and find a second Relentless Hulk in his fucking room, dude. I swear to God. Wait, this is my chance to loot that guy! Well, well, well. Relentless Hulk. Don't you look at- Don't you have some egg on your face right now? You fucked up. Slash me picks up ARC 314E1 laser rifle with no ammo. <laughs> oh. 
Slash me takes military armor and helmet and puts them on and a molly pack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of pissed off now. I've been pushed around for long enough. Picking this up would be considered stealing. No, I don't want to steal. So picking it up is considered stealing, but wielding it is not. How much ammo does this have in it still? Damn it. This fucking thing's a piece of trash! Hey! I throw it on the ground, angrily. I want to pick up the assault pack. Because it gives me so much volume and weight to work with. Next, we're going to ditch the UPS. This thing is good, yes, but I don't care about it anymore. Actually, how heavy is it? Hang on. Hang on. Oh, that happened again. Keep suppressing the start button instead of the slash button. Oh, have easy UPS. Not bad. All right, we'll 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 carry it. We're just overweight because we're carrying a billion things. And the army, the, the fucking... Okay, hold up. Do, do they care if I... Dude, who... I just don't want to piss off those guys in the basement because they're my only friends. Let the record show I am very tanky right now. Let the record show that despite the fact that I have zero chance of beating Huge Man, I am very tanky. Let the record also show that I can't take anything off this body without being considered a thief at this camp full of guys with laser weapons. But let the record also show that doesn't stop me from interacting with the things on them. So there's nothing stopping me from causing a horrible bug and activating mono molecular blade and then cloning it in my own inventory like a fucking absolute goon. Nah. They don't even want it. They don't want it anyways. Cheater! Dude. I don't know how to fuck huge man guy out of this goddamn room considering there are in rp no ways out for him because of how large he is but it sounds like both of us are cheating it's kind of like we're in a we're in a cold war of escalation to see who's gonna cheat the most and then finally kill the other person in one hit all right and as far as i'm concerned it might as well be me that wins we're in a cheat off you can't get in here I'm gonna take advantage of that every step of the goddamn way, motherfucker. This is how I win. I'm gonna read this map. Because this map just revealed all the roads in the area and every single town. And with it, every single survivor bunker in the area. And in every single one of those is some idiot who can stop huge man from breaking me in half. And with their bodies, I will build an incredible monument to my stubbornness and spite. A mound of corpses. Unlike anything this world has ever seen. Hey guys, it's real bad outside. I'm just gonna hang out in here for a minute. Do you guys have snacks I can steal? Am I allowed to drink out of that? I don't wanna store anything. Can I steal stuff from you guys? What is this? The Compact Advanced Sterling Radio Isotope Generator? 
Damn it, I can't just take it. Dude, I can't go out there until Huge Man leaves. But they do have a fully functional kitchen. <laughs> I can't just live in here. I can't just live in here while he slams on the door. Eventually he's gonna open it. It's your tomb, after all. Chat, here's what we can do. We can use this place to train our magic. And then, we can quantum leap out from not a place that isn't the door and get out of here. We just have to learn all of our spells. Okay? We aren't staying in here for long, but I will use this place to train my magic. Yes. Yes. We need more power. First, Idiot's Guide to Technomancy. Teach me Lesser Quantum Tunnel. What was that screeching? I'm ignoring it. They killed it while I was away. God damn it. Alt F4. We can't stay in here. They'll kill it off camera. They literally just killed it off camera. <laughs> they, they walked upstairs and slit his fucking throat. I can't. We can't live here. I'm not going to cheese him. I I'm not going to, like, let them kill them. Wait, idea. Chat. Am I allowed? No, no, no. That's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. There was something I was thinking about doing, but I'm not going to do it. I was going to say, am I allowed to simply remove these NPCs from this room? So it's simply just a bunker without people in it. But I think that would be a little too cheesy. Because I just have a bunker to live in. But I mean, technically I already also do. But if I get rid of them, if I just kill all of them and promise not to loot their bodies then it's a hole. And if he gets in here, he gets in here. Free bunker is cheesy. It's already, to be clear, it's already a free bunker. Like I don't need to do anything and it's mine. They can't kick me out. This place is mine. And while, yeah, I won't take, I can't take anything. Like I already wasn't gonna take anything. Yeah, the corpse upstairs does have an ID for an abandoned bunker. Problem is, I can't get out of here. That's the issue. Ah, that is smart. If I winch this, they shouldn't open it again, and then I'll be able to do my reading. Because I want to stay in here for a minute just to read. Okay, we'll watch this time and see if it ends the mission, because if I close it, that was smart, chat member. Uh, they might not do anything now. Okay, I want to learn Lesser Quantum Tunnel. Okay, they're investigating the sound, but they are not doing anything about it. Good. We will, chat... Become incredibly powerful warriors. How much, what do I gain if I learn more levels of quantum tunnel? Range, raises, okay. Okay. So if I were to cast it right now, how, how what would this do for me? Okay. Just teleports you to a random area around you. Uh, which is good for getting away from the guy through a wall. Not bad. Into a wall. It's not, it's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. Don't worry about that. Uh, we're gonna read Ignis Fatus next. Actually, no. Next we're gonna read the Ice King one, because I want to learn Slide on Ice. If I learn that one, I can outrun it better. I'm hungry, thirsty, and overweight. Encase your feet in a magical ice coating, allowing you to slide along smooth surfaces, surfaces at extreme speed. This is too difficult for me. But that's what, that's what extra reading is for. 
Same. You're feeling tired. Stop studying. Am I finally ready to sleep? Am I finally... Is my character finally ready to, like, pull his shit together and, like, I don't know, sleep? Drink all this chocolate milk. Now. Alright, chat. My character's finally ready to sleep, and I will sleep in this person's house. I will. Keep me up at eight hours. I fall asleep? And since I'm a heavy sleeper, I should stay asleep. I hope you die. Fucks at me. You know I'm not gonna die that easy. Wake up to a huge shadow over you. Look, all this ever teaches me, all this ever reminds me is that I can't believe I automatically add Cata++ to every single game I play in Cataclysm, despite the fact that I pretty much across the board don't like Cata++ in any kind of stream game. Don't know why. Don't know why I always do it. I should know better. I just heard a scary roar. Don't like that. All right. I'm going to keep studying this for now. You were hurt. No, I wasn't. Keep reading. That's psychosis acting up. Dude, stop scratching your leg. Ignore that distraction. My guy's really itchy right now. Ignore all that. Don't listen to anything my chat log says. I'm fine. All right, I leveled up slide on ice again. I still cannot cast it because my overall spell casting skills are not up to snuff, but we're going to start learning the next important thing, which is arguably more important, especially if we're going to try to claim that other bunker. Uh, and it's back at the caster magic blaster master thing. It's necrotic fireball. There's no squirrel there. There's no ignore the squirrel. Oh! Did you hear that? Sounded like bzzz. Fucking psychosis. <laughs> Not today. Just, just keep trying to read. Ignore it. Just ignore it. Resonating chunk of unknown material spotted. Can I just read? I learned necrotic fireball. Sometimes you just have to, you have to just buckle down and get the job done. All right, and some of you might have thought that was some crazy shit. That was Tuesday. All right, that was Tuesday for Evan. He's been doing this every day. That was Tuesday, motherfucker. Fucking worry about it. How could you read during that? Easily. Easily. But I'll have you know, my character is having a bad time. And I've spotted something strange in the distance. It's absence. It's pure darkness. It's a shadow. And it's following me around. I need to make clean water for my character, but we don't have a, a, a solid storage that actually, wait, now I do. I've got a, I got a bunch of gallon jugs. Okay, so now I'm gonna start, I have nothing to, you guys mind if I wreck all of your cabinets? You get, is everyone here cool with me just kinda 
a fucking gorilla? Is, is that a goddamn gorilla just broke into the fucking bunker? Is that a gorilla? The Ingfiem are uplifted from apes and other near-human ancestors. The Zulu word for monkey became the catch-all term for many species of uplifts, whether majority chimp, gorilla, or baboon. Several worlds experienced a series of events similar to old pre-spaceflight movie series Planet of the Apes during the discontinuity. Ooh! 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 He's got me cornered, but he's not smiling with his teeth. And I kind of have to finish making this, uh, this water. I gotta finish deconstructing this. So, um. Again, it's just Tuesday. Cool. So from that, we have three planks. I'm sure these people won't mind if I deconstruct their chairs. Yep. I'm sure they won't mind if I do it again. I need water. So, uh, yeah. Put that over there. Firewood sauce. Yeah, it's contained in the stove. Make 50 clean water. I don't care if it's fucking awful to make that much water. Make all of it at once. You increase all your skills to level 10? Bro. Can the atomic coffee maker not make clean water? I'll shit you not. I forget that it exists. So I'm not even sure. That's not real. That's not real. That's not real. That's not real. Who is that? Who is that, though? Who is that guy, though? What happened to my condom full of water? William! This is my territory, meat face. Are you real? <laughs> Screw you, no. You better pray to God you're not real. Because the fact that that little fucking butter knife you're stabbing me with can't pierce my fucking ballistic plate mail is a bad scene for you. I cast Eldritch Blast. Blasting him. I'm blasting him. He's not taking any damage, but chat, here's the thing. Or he is taking damage. You think this guy's real? Hey, you guys know this guy? He's not real. <laughs> Yo, uh, Debra. Do you see this guy? <laughs> Do you see this guy? Hey, leave her alone, motherfucker. I'm gonna keep using this as an opportunity. I'm gonna disable uh, dangerously close here. I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to rapid fire Eldritch Blast to gain XP. He's dead. Gone. He may have never been real at all. I lean down to my five bags of delicious clean water. Hang on. Chat, we're on an all water diet because we're overweight. Oh, we're back to normal. Oh, God, we're going to be underweight at the end of all this. Whatever. I have to continue reading my book. About necrotic fireball. That's a sproglodyte. 
literally just kill me. Like, you're not gonna hit me with... I don't care anymore. Oh, no, William's back. Oh, William, go away. Feeling tired again. Okay. It's midnight. Now feels like a good time. What even are you? Erratic and frightful, a bane from an otherworldly ruined dimension. It has no distinct appearance and is heavily malformed, but noted as a lump of necrotic skin. Just... Just wait outside. I go to sleep. <laughs> I go to sleep for the evening. I'm gonna catch my eight hours. Something is attacking me. I have sleep paralysis demons ganging up on me right now while I sleep. But sleep I do. I'm dodging perfectly and expertly in my sleep. Dude, my psychosis is getting bad. I, I, I'm trying to save those drugs for when I'm like in danger scenarios and it's starting to feel a little scary. I'm not really sure how much longer I can keep up with psychosis. You're just like Goku. I'm really, I honestly just like Goku. Good morning, everyone. I'm not hallucinating anymore. Oh, I am. You're not real. <laughs> yes. It's not real. My guy is not happy anymore. But I'm going to keep training up my my skills. How about, hang on, what's my actual chances of casting Eldritch Blast? See, I'm impeded by happiness, believe it or not. Oh, I'm also overweight. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's time to ditch some stuff I'm never going to use. Like all those fucking arrows. Fuck that. Uh, this cotton hat. I'm wearing heavy armor. Um, we do not need... Was that heavy hat over fucking 80 pounds? No, it must have been the arrows. We don't really need the sleeveless trench coat, I don't think. No, I need it. I need it. I need it. I need it. I need, it. I need that. I don't need acorn. Do I... Fuck, I really want... I really wouldn't mind getting my Eldritch Blast a little bit higher. Any huge man sightings? I believe he's outside this wall. I'm willing to take a check. There's blood. He broke the door. I just don't know what to do about him right now. I just don't know what to do. I I gotta find a way to get happier. <laughs> I don't know if there's a magical spell that makes me happy, but I need it. Wait. Wait, no, that's not it. I thought I had antidepressants. All I have is... All I have is fucking aspirin. And gummy vitamins. And codeine. And eggs. Oh, <laughs> uh, I guess I could... I guess I could do something crazy. 
See, my problem is I need to get that fucking ID so I can go to the other bunker. I'm also a nomad, which means I believe my guy's getting sad. Hang on. What's the button to check my morale? It's been ages. It's not capital M. V. Yup. My guy's getting sad because he's a nomad and he's been stuck in here for days. I knew this would backfire in my face. It's costing me everything. At a certain point, I gotta run for it, dude. I have to be free. I can't live like this. That guy's not gonna hold me down. I gotta get out there. I can't be scared of the huge man my whole life. At a certain point in time, I need to get the fuck out of here. Evan's gotta get the fuck out of here. Learn how to summon the undead. Ninety eight point seven per cent failure chance because I'm unhappy. Because I'm not having a good time right now. What are my chances of, of doing a quantum tunnel? 36. I gotta ditch the trench coat. It's time. Dude, I believe it's slowing down all my crap. Fucking with my chances to like cast things. Give me all this. My entire identity! Shut up! Why am I doing it this way? Oh yeah, because it does this otherwise. I fucking hate that. Uh, I don't even care about most of it. I just want the duct tape and the casting stuff. I'm not good with the inventory still. You do not want to fail a quantum tunnel, tomato. I'm not... It's quantum. Alright? We're gonna be fine. I just need to get the fuck past this thing. Eventually... Hang on. I think I need to just, like... Wind run out of here. I got the ID. Undo. Wait, he might not have known I went that way. I think he's stuck on the other side and doesn't know what to do. Yeah, steal it. Am I still wind running? Wind runner wore off so fast. I hate that he's just barely faster than me. The game's like, the game lies, dude. It says that he's f that you're faster than him. That's a fucking lie. That's such a lie, dude. I don't know why the game says that, dude. That's such a fucking lie. I'm dead. I'm dead because of that. Because, because I'm just too slow. It's over. Evan can't get out of here. I was going for the bunker, but the bunker's not here. Maybe I'm tanky enough to take a couple hits and he'll knock me towards the bunker. 
That's why I don't want to sprint. Ow! Fool. <laughs> a couple more of those and I make it to the bunker, idiot. Yeah! Ow! I have an idea. Dude, where the fuck is the bunker? Stop! Ow! Has a 3.5 liters of water in a condom. Why am I so slow? Quiet, you. Honestly, you know what I do? Is I don't think- If I do die, I'm definitely gonna do another run. But I take off Nomad. Cause, um... It's just too hard. Like, if you don't get a fucking- I found the bunker. It's up ahead. I might still be able to make it if I save stamina. And there's nothing in there. He might throw me. Just keeps fucking hucking me in. <laughs> Ow! Okay, he's he's got me. Yeah, he got me. It's over. It's over. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Huh. That's rough. It sucks because, like, I truly had a fucking perfect go of it, but I'm stuck out in a field with him, and no matter what, he's faster than me. Okay, here's how I think we'd have to... The only way I think we could do it. I'm gonna... Go, he definitely won. I'm dead. If I... No matter what happens... Yeah. He's broken every part of my body. It's over. And then a huge man walks up and just simply punches me until dead. Here's what I would have to do to fix Evan. Shut up. Here's what I'd have to do to fix Evan. Watch this. Go preset character, last character. On shithole country three. R.I.P. Evan. Look, he had. Here's here was the issues. One. I would argue with the fact that it says he's slower than me, which is a fucking lie. Um, without parkour, you can't beat him. At least as far as running is concerned. You need to either be in a city or you need to have parkour. So if I was going to fix Evan, I would say, first of all, um, get rid of, give him parkour. Uh, you have to, you have to give him parkour. If he doesn't have parkour, he can't win. Uh, I don't think so. I think you'd have to be way faster. Like, basically, we'd have to drop some skills and boost athletics. Like, drop healthcare, athletics up. Drop fabrication one, athletics up. And then also get rid of Nomad. Which was a massive mood drop for our character, which was the reason I couldn't cast anything to get away. Um, our chance of actually cast, I thought athletics didn't do anything. It changes your stamina now. Uh, but, I mean, you get rid of that, you get rid of Nomad, you add junk food intolerance, which is, I think, an easier to handle thing. Is psychosis distracting? Psychosis is fucking funny. Like, I don't know. I like psychosis on my characters. Um, I mean, the main thing was also I spawned in a city, which really slows down my ability to, uh, like, pull shit together. I got lucky. But being in a city definitely fucks up some things to me. Why is Nomad one point? I don't know, dude. Because at the end of it, and the reason I got so desperate to leave... The whole reason my character was sad and therefore learning stuff slower and doing this and that and this and that slower uh, was because of Nomad. Like, I had to leave. Uh, which is a cool concept, but now that I've done this once in a sort of deeper thing, uh, I think... No, I don't think Bad Temper was it. I think it was Nomad. Look, I looked at my morale thing. I think Nomad cost me it. So I think if we were going to fix Evan... Uh, we swap his background, 
and we add parkour because I think he needs it. And then we have to just give ourselves two things to get us our points back here. Um, which in this case is either lowering some skills. Spellcraft goes up so fast, we don't actually need spellcraft. Um, and one survival versus two survival is nothing. So there you go. I think that fixes Evan right there. I think we even make Evan angry this time. Yeah, yeah! This time we make him mad this time! I'm willing to go a little bit on a new Evan. Uh, but I am going to go to the bathroom first. I'll be back. You know, it's also the other thing, uh, is I think, I definitely think one of the de deciding factors for this scenario is how fast you find a vehicle that's reliably working. You really don't have time to take care of it and fix it. You kind of, in this one, have to find a vehicle by the time that he starts spawning. Or you're fucked. What if you can, sp like, start with one if you grab, like, a biker? Biker starts with one. A bike, at least. I don't really want to start with a vehicle, though. I think that's a little too cheesy. We go back in. I think parkour changes the game. Are we in a city? Yeah. We're deep in the city. Next to a parking garage, then. We don't, we don't loot with these Evans. We, unless I see, unless I see the fucking, the book, which this is a educational room. This isn't a, this is an educational fucking shop. Throw my prescription bottle. Nyeh. Didn't even work. Stop! I'm banking on something specifically. My parkour technique is huge. Did you see how quickly I cleared that compared to them? Parkour is insane in this game. And I might be able to use it to do some funny things. Now we grab a car from the second floor of this parking lot. This one will do. That's the, that's it, baby. A luxury car. Now we just floor it going 24 miles per hour in reverse. I really thought that steel beam would break. I really thought that thing would break and I'd fall to the next zone. Damn. That car chewed itself up. It's all gone. <laughs> that thing, it's gone. But there's always floor number two, baby. See, our problem was we couldn't get enough forward thrust before. Or backwards thrust. Uh, this is- this one's not gonna cut it. You think we can survive a four floor- four story fall on this thing? Cause here's a, here's my idea, Chet. 
Okay, here's my idea. Grab the lug wrench. Break this. It's gonna take a minute. But we should be able to break fencing. If we can break fencing, then we can squeeze one of these cars into this part. And once we do that, we're home free! Use your head. This is something not even huge man would expect. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on someone's roof. <laughs> I don't know where I am, but I'm on someone's roof right now. Oh! Ha! We're out of there. And that is how you lose a zombie horde. Fools. <laughs> the car disintegrated. Is that bike in working condition? No, the pedals are busted. Oh no, here they come again. Oh god, here they come again. And what's over here? Oh god, it's wasps. There's a whole swarm of fucking wasps. Dude, who even are you? A mox forest scavenger towering around two meters high, its flesh is frozen solid, colored black and blue from frostbite, it's constantly scratching at its flesh with its claw-like hands, surveying the land with frozen foggy eyes. Dude, who asked? You're slower than me in a straightaway walk. In the market for a car. I'm so tired of like walking into cars. Your lug wrench is talking to you. Hey, let's go kill that zombie. I don't want to lug wrench chan. Spider zombie. Oh yeah, well you've never seen me in parkour mode. <laughs> he thought he was gonna close the gap, but then it. Don't close the gap with a parkour character. <laughs> I'm faster than you. I'm better than you. All right, chat. You can already see the immediate difference in character power between someone with parkour and someone without. I don't know how the fuck you ever justify not playing a parkour character in Cataclysm, because it's just so. I can truly clown on everyone in this city just by walking around. What's up? I know you all think you're going to catch me, but you're not. That's a pack of vicious dogs that objectively, oh, it's a dead end. Oh, oh. Wait, I need this. Wait, hang on. I'm so fucking tired. I'm so fucking tired. When am I gonna get a chance to show what I can really do? I even left my L behind. I just wanna be the best. This game's never gonna give me the chance. God, Evan, angry face is faster than a dog in a straightaway, folks. He's really going the distance. Starting to believe. But no one else would. 
Radar says your Dunzo radar is wrong because I'm a parkour character. Motherfucker. I'm worrying about not worrying about that. Someone just has to believe for a minute. And then they find a crashed escape pod full of supplies. Evan never lost hope, not for a minute that day. He grabbed his landfall survivor gun. Bunch of bottles of water, bunch of rations, a whistle multi tool, 18 bullets, now I know no one else is gonna fuck with me, we'll just remember all that stuff is there because I have no space. Now I know no one's gonna fuck with me now. Not after what I just did. Nothing here's very helpful though. Bike shop. All he's gotta do is get in there. Against all odds. Into the bike shop. He's getting hungry, hang on. I don't think you eat heat retention cream. Alright, Evan, bulk up. It's time to go. Todd Cat. Once used to its decomposed body, this nightmarish cat with thick teeth and razor sharp claws seems to be looking around for things to play with. Though its head is of a feline, it grins at you sadistically with a glint in its cold, demonic eyes. We're going to the bike shop. I don't care if it kills me. There's only one of them. We need to get a bike. We need a car. We're going in. Fuck that in my way. Remember chat, we have the advantage as long as we go through buildings. Oh, fuck it. Gee! So that means feral granny! I, sh I shoot at it! <laughs> I shoot it's still alive! I throw my gun at it! I run around it! Get the fuck away from me, grandma! Get away from me, you old bag! Let me go! <sighs> She's faster than a normal human. You old bitch. You look what you did, you killed me! Why is she faster than a normal zombie? <laughs> wow, I really am faster than normal zombies. Granny <laughs> is faster than them! <laughs> She's in her wheelchair, she's got a wheelchair! She's faster than all the other zombies! <laughs> that guy's gonna throw something at me, I can tell. Get lost! 
The fuck is that thing? Ew! The skittering weaver. Where's the bike shop? Wait, a survivor encampment? Yo! I really was hoping for a field here when I when I tore this way. Ow! Dude, these dogs gotta fuck off. How am I still good right now, dude? I got pretty good at driving bikes in this game, to be honest. Ow. Well, we know where there are extra bikes when this one inevitably breaks because of this high-speed getaway that I've decided to do. At least we know where the extras are. Because this one's gonna break. Oh my god, wait. No controls. That was an atomic. See, chat, what we can do with this now is shop around for a real car. Mm. Saddle's broken. Part of me wants to live in the sewers. At this point. Wait for me, Grandma! Fucking... This shit. Dead end. These zombies are gonna piss me the fuck off. Time to kick it into maximum overdrive. The fuck out of the way! Dude, bikes are so good though in Cataclysm. Like narrow vehicles? They didn't even stand a chance catching me right there. Not a million years are they gonna catch me. Not a million fucking years. Let's get the fuck out of town. Dude, bikes are so good. All right, we're out of here. Slow it down. Take the fuck out of here. We're gonna load up the bike basket with the escape pod supplies. We're leaving. Evan made it out of this one. Who knows how long his luck will last, but for now, he's alive. I'm gonna pull this one closer. There it is. Right up to the door. We just do a good old fashioned bop, bop. And this is no, there's still not enough space because it's only 20 liter space. Well, hit. Oh, we actually can't pick up the car. It's too big. It's just too big. We need actual cargo spot for this thing. I have mechanical skill. I just need to see something that has a cargo spot. Because it's not hard to install. Where a bike frame, like a bicycle basket used to be, and replace it with cargo. Or like an actual trunk. Even though I don't have it here. You can't. 
You can install a real trunk to a car on a pedal bicycle. You can. We'll be back. Look, the best thing we can do is... Is that Triffids? There's definitely a Triffid Grove around these parts, chat. Oh, for sure, for sure, Triffid Grove. We got Triffids. Triffids fuck this area. Triffids aren't bad compared to, like, compared to fungals. Triffids aren't bad. Well, I am going to spend some time shopping around. I... Fuck this area. Fuck this area, dude. What is this? Kid me? A cool double! We got Triffids! We got Fungal Monsters! <laughs> yeah! Don't worry! Whatever you want, we have! Yeah! And now I kinda wanna know where they are. I saw the Triffid flower. Horrible beast. Terrible creature. Well, we've gone completely off the grid, chat. See, I'm... What I'm... An area of hardy Kentucky bluegrass about ankle high. Situated directly beneath a tear in reality. Yo, don't go that way. What is this? Apartment towers. Don't people live in those? Maybe that's the way we do this. We make huge man other people's problems again. We love doing that. We love making huge man other people's fucking problems. The question is, is this place infested by the undead? The answer is absolutely 100% yes, which is why we're leaving. We keep riding. We keep riding until we see a silo, something we can climb. Find out where the hell we're going. So at this point, part of me is almost willing to uh, live near a hole now that I know that guy can just escape whenever he wants and dump him in a hole every time he shows up. And that's that's kind of like a set piece from like a, a Resident Evil game, dude. The amount of times that I saw Leon in Resident Evil 2 engage with Mr. X and then trick him into falling in a slightly deep hole. It happened a lot. So I wouldn't feel too bad. God, I just need I just need a place. Why have I not found a place? Or like anything. There's nothing out here. Any minute now. Any minute now. Any minute now on these roads we'll find something. Any minute now. Hang on, slow the car down. Stop for a second. Here, Angie back. Now let's go. Any minute now, dude. Campground. That's supplies. And the place is only infested by rabbits. This could be the chance we need. take these tents. We can live in a tent. We can be tent people. I don't like the music. So a nomad? Shut the fuck up. We didn't have a bike last time. Of beans. 
Someone's old dress. Can I make this into a knapsack? Pants. Glow stick. I don't even have- I truly don't own pockets. And that really bums me out. Evan was starting to lose hope. And he finally found the only way he could get away from Huge Man once and for all. And it sail away. Huge Man would be after him soon enough. But if he got the fucking boat and sailed away, motherfucker, well, I'd like to see huge man swim. It fits in the wire basket. Chat. We may not be able to kill huge man, but we will not be captured by him. That I can assure you. We're going to Tahiti. Oh, I'm hallucinating. <laughs> oh, it's beginning. Oh boy. I am not going- I don't believe most of what I see is real. But where would water be? Water doesn't always exist in every level. We don't always find lakes. We basically have to sail the open roads until we find one. Water's always east. Not necessarily true. We're on our own out here. But I know one thing. We're we're safe from huge man as long as I keep biking. As long as I keep on pedaling, we're safe. What is this? A silo. Thought this could be a chance. If we go up this thing, we'll be able to tell what's around us. Let's do it. Okay, this place sucks. This place super sucks. That's bad. Mound of dirt is actually the worst thing. What do we do? We gotta get out of here. That music's a bad, that's a bad sign. Get back on the car. At least bikes are reliable. I don't feel like this thing uses batteries. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I don't see anything here. We're gonna go back down this way. And then we're gonna bike due east. Just like that seer in the chat said. Just like that strange old man said in the chat when he said, always go east. We'll go east. Fedora, Speedo, we'll need that if we're gonna go east to the recurve bow. Plastic bag full of apple slices. Semi rough compound crossbow. I'm a wizard, god damn it. Is that Satan? No, uh, it's a Gracken, which is objectively weaker than Satan. Grackens are actually pathetic. 
Damn it. If only that was a functional fucking... <sighs> we'll get out of here yet, Chet. It's gonna take a lot of biking. But, it, I mean, at the same time, we suffer from horrible... Wow, that's a hole, huh? What is this? Transcoast Logistics. That's like the end game zone. That's like the worst place ever. Everyone look as we drive by. It's like the worst place ever. It's an Amazon warehouse with a dark secret. A mansion. Mansions are good. You get good supplies in mansions. We don't have a weapon though. We're kind of banking on the boat idea. There's a forest trail. It's a water while we're here. Okay, stop. Get your energy back. The secret is there's no bathrooms. Well, the... That place is actually like a... To my knowledge, without spoiling too much, it's got some stuff going on on the inside that is... Uh, not just a, a simple delivery plant. But what do I know? I'm just a... I'm just a common everyday biker and this place is actually a fucking dead end? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't the silo. It's gotta be something out there. Do north! There's a, there's a farm! We can make that farm our new home. Has he seen Huge Man yet? To my knowledge, Chet, Huge Man does not spawn for a day. Which is why it's already over. Because we've been uh, extremely unlucky two times, which is to say we spawned inside of a city. And even though we have a bike now... And that means we can escape Huge Man. We haven't found a place to, like, stabilize and get gear. That's why I'm hoping I can get into this farm. Kind of need this farm to pop off. That is a fucking hole. Zombies. You usually get something out of these farms. Cutting all the zombies to the barbed wire. Maybe. That's a possibility. Let's see what else is neighboring this place. It's a horrible condition RV. Truly barely functional. That's supposed to happen. That's normal bike stuff. Here we go. This is how we see if there's water nearby. This is how we see if there's water nearby. Up the radio tower. Can we also loot this place? Sometimes they got useful stuff here, like root beer. Oh, I'm allergic to junk food. And root beer is obviously junk food, so... Hard hat, we love that. We'll put it right on top of our gimp mask. Take a look at this. No fucking water for miles. But there is a pump station. And a goblin encampment. And something that is just vaguely described as light industry. gonna die out here, Jet. Pump stations pump water to me. That doesn't mean there's gonna be an ocean there. R.I.P. Evan 3. I have very low hopes for this Evan. I, I honestly, my hopes for this Evan are incredibly low. 
This is kind of like the filler Evan between two good Evans, is what I would describe this Evan as. You guys know what I mean? Like you get a, you get a good Evan and then you get a bad Evan that you use to kind of theory like theorize how you'll do with your next Evan. And right now we're sitting on a bad Evan, which honestly the only reason I haven't reset this Evan is because of the because of the boat. I kind of want to find a pool of water, but I'm not confident I'll find that pool of water. Ever. We may never find a pool of water again. What the fuck's a Garfield? A ribbon-like alien that glides along the ground on countless hair-thin legs, wrapping around sources of body heat to absorb as much of it as it can before gliding on. That doesn't sound evil. It sounds like they're cold. Are they evil? It'll say they're hostile to me if I pull towards them. No, they're cool. They're cool, they're just cold. All right, we're getting away from those guys. We've reached an ant zone. They're dead. Ah, yeah, this place sucks. Yeah, one thing I can tell you about this corner of the map is it sucks eggs. Nothing but ants. No, you fucking try it, pussy. Just looking for water. But what's down there? Help! Help! I made a mistake! Help! 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 This, this Evan's at a bad time! Help! Help! You may have problems climbing back up. Climb down? Yeah. Found a rock. I, I dare huge man to come get me down here, motherfucker. All right. I fucking dare huge man to come down here into the hole. Yeah, that's right. I got a rock. Is he soft lock? Uh, no. There's actually a way out of here. Check this out. It's called, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me show you. Let me show you. I'm gonna just go ahead and, um... Right now... Show you how you do it. chat it's been six hours uh we're gonna do more cataclysm soon don't worry uh but uh i'm probably not gonna have enough time to do another like four or five hours of evan that was evan 2 evan 2 was the cursed evan evan 1 went well until um it didn't uh but it did remind me that on the next time we do it i'm gonna remove cata plus plus again because no offense to cata plus plus uh, it's un- it's wildly unbalanced, and it's almost impossible to not resist- like, to resist, uh, like, you know, using their insane crap. So, yeah. Huge Man was very huge, Huge Man was menacing. I had a good fucking time. I hope you had fun watching Cataclysm. Uh, we may continue with the Huge Man challenge, or I may, uh, have a different challenge, because there's a bunch of challenges now on Cataclysm, and there's some really cool stuff. Uh... There's actually some really cool stuff. Um, and honestly, I wouldn't mind the next thing I do to be me, like, kind of mid-game. Like, hell, if I showed you Shithole County uh, 1, my actual character I play on that one, you'd be like, oh, yeah, you can do some pretty... You can get some pretty good stuff going. Uh, there's some cool stuff. 
but yeah, I, I don't have time to do like another four hours of it tonight. Plus, I think tomorrow we might be doing Dark Mod. Tomorrow might be Dark Mod. If you forget, could you move it during intro? Yeah. I think tomorrow might be Dark Mod, which is why I don't want to go too long tonight. I think there's a bunch of new levels for Dark Mod made by really cool mod makers that have made most of the best mods for Dark Mod. So they all have released all their maps in like two to three months. So I'm going to do a bunch of them. I think that's tomorrow. So keep your eyes peeled. Thanks for watching. Uh, Pathetic Evan. Yeah, I do think next time we do this, as cool as Huge Man is, what I might do is even in the sense of this one, this challenge, I may like do like a welcome to Evan's adventure an hour into his quest and I actually have my like basic stuff scrambled together uh, just so we're not like fucking doing the starter thing over and over again. I might do like a little bit of, do a little bit of early game progression first because um, I mean, honestly, the only reason Big Man ended up getting me was because I ran out into a fucking field. He, it's very easy to escape him in a city. I can tell you that for sure, especially with parkour. You can outrun him in a city where no one can, prison challenge, prison challenge is awful. I, I can't do prison challenge. Prison challenge is too much for me. I'm, I'm not anywhere near good enough to play prison challenge. I played a lot of Cataclysm. I'm not a good Cataclysm player. I just know the basics enough for, to say that, like, if people give me, like, basic, in like, introductory advice, I already know it. But I would say I've gotten rustier and rustier as time's gone on with this game, too. But, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you give the subs and donate during the stream, I appreciate it. Uh, any chance, any plans to revisit Zomboid? Uh, in multiplayer in the future, yeah, for sure. Um, I'd want to play it with other people. Honestly, you know, it's the next thing on the docket for multiplayer uh, that I've been talking to Sam about uh, is Seven Days to Die. We're going to do Darkness Falls uh, Seven Days to Die in the next week. Maybe even the next couple days. Because uh, we've never done Seven Days to Die. If people know Darkness Falls, can you tell me if I can host that server on my computer or do I need to like buy a Daisy server to host it? I have a beefy fucking PC. Do I need to like flat out buy a server to host this mod? If people know. Because like, I don't think I need to. People are saying yes. My group didn't have to. You can host it. Okay, because I'm not I'm not planning on adding more mods than just that one. I don't know. I might end up just doing it over a server. It probably won't be a big deal. But usually whenever I've done any kind of hosted server thing, unless I flat out make a dedicated server on like a full on dedicated PC, if I use like a fucking website, it's like, we host Daisy servers, dude. We're really good at it. What is their actual secret is that they suck at it and they're really bad at it. And I've given them 20 of my dollars so they can just kind of flip a switch and then a server kind of barely turns on at all. So I don't really like doing that. So it ends up being kind of a process to get dedicated servers working because I have to just look up how to do it myself. But yeah, we can figure it out. I also know in the coming weeks, I'm going to do more Kenshi. I kind of just, I've, I've just been in the mood to do like a fucking greatest hits of all the games I really enjoy streaming rapidly lately. But we're definitely not done with Cataclysm this time. I had a lot of fun playing this. and I feel like I could beat Huge Man. I think I could. I really do think I could. But uh, I definitely do think I am going to follow my own idea for once of actually progressing a tiny bit beforehand next time so that ideally if i do this again which i want to um i will be at the point where i died on evan one i think is what i'm thinking so that like i just have gear already i already have my like spells leveled so i can just like start with progression again but yeah 
I'll see you all tomorrow at 3 p.m. EST. If I'm not live tomorrow, then I'll be back on Thursday, but I don't see any reason why I wouldn't stream tomorrow. I think tomorrow is going to be Dark Mod. So, if you like Dark Mod, if you like Thief, if you like those cool streams, uh, that'll be tomorrow. That's I'm very excited for that. So, yeah, keep your eyes peeled. I'll see you later, chat. It's been a pleasure, it really has. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.